Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Tabletop Saturday, where we're playing some more Storm King's Thunder. Would anybody like to refresh me on what happened last time? Or refresh us, I should say. <laughs> Go on, Daniel. Go on, Dan. <laughs> You're the one crying about it, so you should probably know. I you sleep sleeping most of the time. Uh, we went up to the castle and we found, I believe it was two people and two guards with them. I think that was the amount. Uh, uh, it was three guards and one woman. Or ah, technically four but, guards and one woman. I see, I see. Then we, uh, then we left and then we were ambushed by the leader of those bandits who had a very strong gun. I didn't. And it was also revealed that he didn't. The helm was previously seen. It was a fucking whale gun. <laughs> by multiple pale giants who stole the obelisk, the Nightstone obelisk. And ah, Lady yes. Velrosa uh, has spoken of her village inhabitants taking shelter in a nearby cage, and we have volunteered to go seek them out. Mm. Indeed. Uh, one of the guy, one of the bandit leaders. Uh, men betrayed him, tried to kill him, but uh, he messed up as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the leader managed to get away, unfortunately, which leads us to here. Which also uh, uh, leads us to where we are yes. now. I went for two assassination attempts, and both. Right, well, two of slash attempts, but they failed. Yeah, unfortunately, mm. you almost died, and so did our dear friend Rory. Yeah. If it wasn't for the very quick thinking that actually took about ten minutes to figure out that he had advantage. <laughs> Relatively quick. <laughs> uh, oh, and yeah. I'm kind of curious as to who you think from last session deserves XP. If you look at your characters' um, bonds, flaws, and ideals, um, can you read them out and see if any of them were met in the last session? Because I realised that this is actually what they're used for. Yeah. Uh, ooh. So you should hopefully have had them from when you uh, chose your character backgrounds. Yep. I change my mood or my mind as quickly as I change key in a song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good one. Oh, the last yeah. For the flaws, I should have mentioned how I had induced magical induced sleep, which goes against my flaws of. <laughs> but that was last session. Last last session. Nah. Um. It's a bit late. Is insomnia one of your flaws? It is. Um, or is that one of your mutations? One of the mutations which happens to be a flaw. Oh, what, as in you've made it a flaw? Uh, or? Oh, it, it, a, muta a negative mutation is a flaw. Is no, I'm, ta I'm talking about the actual background um, permitted uh, flaws, bonds, and ideals. Uh... I have no provocation. It is my duty to protect and care for people beneath me. We kind of did that. <laughs> but a lot of people died. <laughs> Nothing is more important than... No, that doesn't apply. And the flaws do not really apply. So, ideals protected people beneath me. Mm -hmm. So, that kind of applies. Who did you protect? We protect you specifically. Oh. I protected... Did you put yourself in harm's way in, in an attempt to protect someone? No, not really. Not, uh, except for... No. Yeah, no. if you don't mind, can you all read yours out so that we can determine yeah. what was achieved? Uh, my idea was creativity. The world mm -hmm. is in need of new ideas and bold action. I, yep. I think I lived up to that one quite heavily, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. You did. Although it didn't go well. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't have to go well yeah, for you yeah. to have uh, mm. 
prompted your your um uh i'll do anything my my bond is i'll do anything for other members of my old troop unfortunately they're not with you currently. yeah they're not with me currently however i am trying to get us more money true true mm. though i don't feel like you pursued it as much as you could have asking yeah. for more money potentially that is true well my idea at the moment is there's a lot of money in the on this magical floating island place. That's where I'm currently <laughs> sidetracked. Uh, Daniel, did you send over your character sheet to me? I did not. Shit. Do you mind just sending that now? Yeah. So I can have that uh, I'm going to refresh the successes and failures on the death saves. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, that'd be awkward. <laughs> Ali, where, where is your background stuff? Uh, it'll be in notes under background. Where's the note stuff? Don't think I get to see your notes. Really? I think I only get to see your actions, spells, equipment, features, and traits, and extra. Ah, uh, so it doesn't give you description or notes? No. Okay, that's, kind of I annoying. that's annoying. Uh, I can send it to you. I still have it, so. Thank you. Uh, Tom, what are yours? What are your flaws, bonds, and ideals from your background? Uh, my ideals is respect the things that keep the ship together is a mutual respect between the captain and crew, which applies to a team. Mm -hmm. Freedom, uh, exploration of where I personally would like to go and do what I'd like to do. Uh, and people, I'm committed to the people I affiliate with. Uh, the bonds is I put the captain first. Uh, mm -hmm. You may notice that there's a ship running theme. Yeah. Because my background is a sailor. A sailor, just yeah. Clarify. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, following people I respect as commands, above all else, flaws, it's insomnia, and then what I'm putting in now, which is, you know, true, I just haven't written it down, is the unfamiliarity with dry land, really. And mm. a desire, you know, I actively seek to learn about them, but it's my unfamiliarity that puts me at a disadvantage when it comes to dry land-based civilizations. Yeah. Uh, 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 for my bonds, even though it doesn't really apply, nothing is more important than the other members of my family, though that family is kind of dwindled now, so that mm -hmm. applies to new people or you know like if i get into a team then they become my family essentially uh flaws by my words and actions i often bring shame to my family so okay. yeah uh rory what are yours um on a personality tray uh i'm willing to willing to listen to every side of the argument before i make my own judgment Mm -hmm. Ideal, no limits, nothing should fetter the infinite possibility, inherit all existence. Mm -hmm. Bonds, I've been searching my whole life for an answer to a certain question. Who was this necromancer? Okay. Uh, flaws, uh, most people scream and run when they see a demon. I stop and take notes on its anatomy. Anatomy. Yeah. Uh, and then anatomy. So, um, how was that? I'm kind of curious because Rory did attempt to uh, converse with the people coming towards the town. As uh, his first reaction, instead of throwing himself into combat, instead chose to question them to find out their side of the story. Mm -hmm. And did so almost to the detriment of the party as he attempted to charm. Hmm. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, I did like Daniel's one, because that uh, kind of yeah. did apply. But I yeah. feel like Rory's was the most outspoken, essentially. Mm. I, would, yeah. I would say mm. Rory. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. The only, uh, my personality trait is, despite my noble buff, I do not place myself above other folk. We are... We all have the same blood, essentially. So that doesn't really apply. I haven't done any of those yet. 
Hmm. So yeah, just something hmm. to think about when uh, when we go through this next part is uh, your 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 functions as mm. uh, people, what your hmm. motivations that drive you. Yeah. Hmm. Say that so... again. Uh, despite my noble buff, I do not place myself above other folk. We are we all have the same blood. Hmm. Well, you certainly have shown that you are. Uh... Green. Oh, yep. You've we got, still have uh, blood. <laughs> oh, what's uh, what's horseshoe crab's blood? It's uh, copper, isn't it? Supposedly. Um, yeah. Based on I think that's what yours is. I am extremely quiet. Oh. Uh, just a quick question. Um, when you do hit dice, is it your constitution? Yep. Plus the hit dice. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. I just double checking. I did the great hit points. Okay, so I got over. Oh yeah, you've never put yourself above the rest in any way. True, true. Though it hasn't had much of an impact on the actual um, game. It hasn't yeah. been brought to light, but there is certainly going to be time for that. Oh, yeah, certainly <laughs> time. Um, but I so... would say Rory because. It was yeah. more outspoken. Hmm. Not to mention, he also saved an ally. If we want to go by, uh, yeah, something heroic. Yeah. Very true. Very true. So, Rory, you have been awarded your second inspiration. Woohoo! Put it to good use. Yes. Save us from our mistakes and sins. I will go buy candy with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me then. So, since you've got inspiration, can you roll the one d twenty and then the other ones that are? Um, I think they're one d one hundreds, aren't they? Can't remember. Oh, Tom! Tom, you have little yeah. games. You are currently listening to an audio sample by Tom. <laughs> <laughs> When Tom starts breaking into the uh, many, voice acting many career. Years ago, the date was different. I don't know what to say <laughs> beyond that, oh. but uh, it was certainly a different time. Because it was... It's uh, fairly easy to observe, considering. <laughs> As a look at the town, it is different. Um, right, so with dramatic inspiration, uh, you need to roll a 1d20 and then... A, uh, a 1d100, uh, 3d100. There we go. Right, let's have a look. So, the scene that we return on is uh, you guys finishing the battle, watching the horse. Bless you. <laughs> you almost made me tear my knob off as I was readjusting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. I ripped my dick off. <laughs> James has a heart attack. <laughs> but that can be fixed using flex tape. Flex tape. <laughs> It'll put your knob back. You've got a re urethra reattaching? No problem. This is waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it has actually downloaded. Cool. So, yeah, the scene that we return on is the one of um, you guys watching the rider go into the distance as he um, loses faith in the battle. And um, as he does so, he leaves you with the corpse of his allies, as well as one currently staggering up and leaning against the wall once more. Um, your ally is currently in the um, in the house, protected, are uh, awaiting any sort of word of what's happened. And um, yeah, we kind of pan back into you guys standing there. What do you do? Well, Ooh. does it transition to mm. the map? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were already on it because I was already on it. Ah, uh, I see, I see. 
Okay, what do you guys do? Uh, I think I'm unconscious. Uh, you are indeed, and you had, I think it was three hours? Yeah. For, I've been, yeah. Three hours. Wait. Three hours. Fucking on point. See you, James. So, um, yeah, you have your wounded ally currently being cradled in the arms of Fainor. You uh, a three hour rest, or? Um, you guys haven't had like a full rest, so what we had returned to was you guys after the battle had ended. Um, because we had to abruptly kind of scoot it along. All right. So we have Considering yeah, the we have... imperative nature of what we need to do. We could squeeze in a short for us and then immediately head out. Are the remnants of the bandits' horses still there? Considering they came on horses in, but only one was mm -hmm. taken out. Um, after the gunshots, uh, not many of them had remained. Wow, that's delightful. Some... To be fair, you did come on horseback. True, true. true. So you have the horses that you started with as they're all moored up by the um the barn that you guys had found. Uh right. So Oh, well, this is happening. I'm just gonna quickly investigate the bodies, see if they have anything useful oh, that's a good on them. Idea. That's a very good point. Sure. I always forget. Roll some investigation checks. Oh. You can all uh you can do it individually or you can do it um at uh, an advantage. I'll give them uh, an advantage. Oh, yeah. thank you. I'll take advantage. Oh, it's still a seven. Where would you like to make your own? I was investigating this massive group, you know, the ones that we just slaughtered. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah I, was, I was just trying to search, but. <laughs> Anybody yeah, else want to give it a shot? So many goddamn uh... bodies on the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone From... investigating bodies other than the ones that she was pilfering? Uh, Rory, did you want to rummage through any pockets? or? Suppose I'll do these guys over here. Sure. It's more like you, you all go through like once over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, okay. I surrender. <laughs> You identify the bones of which they're contained within their body, <laughs> including the ones that are no longer in their body. <laughs> oh, wow. All these bones. Uh, bone connects to the base of the spine bone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, you find 120 gold pieces. Oh, yes. um, you also find... Some uh, three carved bone statuettes. Um, engraved bone dice. Uh, <laughs> a couple of them had um, a tiger eye, uh, an eye agate, and a blue quartz. And then you also find a potion of healing, a greater potion of healing, and another potion of healing. Will be useful for getting Kairi up. Ali, which corpses did you search again? I searched these ones. All right. This the ones pile. that are above the house, these two. I'll go off my own and investigate these. Uh, okay. Uh, a 10, not the most thorough. Uh, you find what appears to be some hide armor. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you feel something strange about it. Uh, but how, how strange is it? Is it lumpy? Did, does it emit you, you don't know. It just feels strange, like a like a buzzing in your hands, um, and also some leather gauntlets. Ooh, okay, that's quite nice. Don't mind some gloves. 
let's see. Are the leather gauntlets purely cosmetic or do they function to some capacity? The gauntlets? Yeah. Yes, they also have a similar buzzing as you find it on the same person. Uh, and that is all you find. Uh, right, well... Is anyone good with guns? No. Uh, yeah, you do indeed find the gorse rifle laying on the ground next to uh, Carrie's bo her body. Uh, no, I'm not, pro I'm not good with guns. <laughs> Maybe oh. somebody else? I'll walk up to the others. Or well, any of you familiar with identifying uh, strange articles of clothing? It uh, it appears to be a normal bit of hide armor, but uh, there's something not quite right about it. Any of you know uh, how to figure out what's wrong with it? I could you do you have identify. I po I point over to Feynor. He might be able to help you more. Feynor, do you mind just giving these a gander? Could do. Could use a spell slot. Use uh, identify. Last first level you, spell. If you if you don't want to um, use a spell slot, you can just spend a long rest. Considering the imperative nature of the situation, a long rest isn't something we can conceivably do right now. But I'll pocket them. Well, put them in my sack. <laughs> the backpack is kind of sack. That sack. Uh... <laughs> uh, I could try and check them for you, see if I can figure it out, but I think identify would help much more. But we don't have the time, like you said. Especially with all the people stuck in the cave. Maybe we should do it when, when we have time. There you go, Rory. Thank you. No problem. Actually, some pretty good ones on that. You got gold. Um, gold. <laughs> so, uh, as you're kind of all rummaging through the bodies, uh, the person standing off by the side says, um, "Oh no, where's the? Uh, where's my voice mod? Okay." See if I can find whichever one I was using last time. Is it central? No respect for the dead, hey. Uh, we are we the the dead currently do not own the items. But we will give them a decent burial. I mean you can fucking burn them now. If you want. Mm. I don't give a shit. <laughs> what I do give a shit about is all their stuff. She starts walking up to you, pulling off her helmet. Oh. So, uh, what are you guys doing here? We weren't expecting anyone. We came here to... Find out about to fight off some goblins. That's why we were originally here in the first place. And, uh, well, we did find goblins, but we also found a lot of other things. Who, who were those guys? Do you, do you know who they were? Did they, did they know you? She looks around. She's just like, Are you stupid? I was with them.
I have no idea about the goblins, though. All we heard was that this place was vulnerable. Came to took advantage, but obviously didn't go as smoothly as planned. Seems that your leader is a bit of a scaredy cat. I mean, if it wasn't for fucking me, he probably would have just shot you all dead. That is very true. All those strange devices you were using. The ones that were like emitting some kind of energy. They're, they're guns, honey. They're, uh, they're pretty common. Probably Something not I'm... where he's from. <laughs> it was quite a marvel, yet quite morbidly destructive. Well, I mean, that's what they're built for. I mean, we were lucky to uh, hitch these off the back of a wagon, but, uh, you know, there's definitely more where that came from. Interesting. But yeah, you guys literally just here for those goblins? You didn't... weren't paid to come and hunt us down or anything? No, no. we were just here for the goblins. The fact that uh, this happened was just a mistake. Oh, what a fucking waste of time this was then. <laughs> Glad so I didn't take that. Kayla, you're after then. I heard uh, your leader talk about her. Well, I mean, she was placed here. Uh, I'm not sure how much I can actually tell you about it, though. Jesus. She kind of uh, blows on her nails and rubs it against her shirt. What do you mean by placed here? Like I said, that's all I can say. I can't tell you anymore. Uh, kind of like against the wall. <laughs> I'm going to persuade and go. How how much would it be to get uh, this information from you, Obkila? And um, please, no, <laughs> not good. <laughs> well, I mean. If we're talking about costs, I thought I saw one of your friends pick up the uh, the coin my friends were carrying. Maybe it should be returned to the, you know, the rightful people. Mm. She I kind of like glares over at you guys, <laughs> raising a bit of an eyebrow. I walk over to Fena and the God. She wants. What you just got, but it w would this information help us? That is the question. Yeah, what's she after? <laughs> she wants the money you just picked up. Oh, I see. She wants the money. Well, why should uh, she have the money? That is. They, they probably stole it off people. Uh, they I know that. They could have stolen it, but I'm not very convincing. Unless you can convince her to not take all the money, we're going to have to give it to her. Well, I mean, it's four against one. True, but... <laughs> she uh, <laughs> slightly leaves the um, ghost rifle that she had. Oh. <laughs> Let's let's just turn in negotiating. I've had enough almost deaths to last me a lifetime. Oh, I'll activate my shield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm stuck in cyber shield now because I'm gonna get the money. Did you <laughs> properly clarify of why she turned against her leader? Not really, from my recollection. Tell me, why did he mutiny against your supposed bandit boss? Why why do an act against your own interests from our apparent point of view? Well, I mean, that's all it is, isn't it? Going at your own point of views? For me, I couldn't give two shits about what happened to these guys. The fact that they lost the fight just gave me motive, didn't it? Second, they were so dropping like flies. I was feeling that I could probably pinch something from them. <laughs> I mean, you guys aren't really the worst things that I've had to deal with. 
they certainly weren't. But who they're working for, that's who you should be worried about. That's why we need the information. To what extent should we be concerned? Do, does their employer have interests that will affect us directly in any capacity? Well, once he hears what you've done to his squad, I would assume you might be in for some tough times. Don't Wait think going to any town is going to keep you safe. If anything, it's going to make it worse. So the fucking killed the guy to stop him from leaving. I tried my best. Unfortunately, I'm not very good with this thing. And she kind of like hefts it a bit. Very considering how clunky. you know the boss is going to be reported to you. Oh, that guy you turned on, and how he's going away. He knows who you are. He's going to rat on you as well. So it seems yeah. like it was very against your interest to. Uh, do such an act. There's a reason why we wear masks, sweetie. Even then, you could be identified by someone that's familiar with you and your voice and your behavior. Someone, you know, you've been working with as a gang. Are you so certain that they would not be able to identify you properly? Look, I was just hired as a gun. Literally all I was for. If they want to try and find out who I am, good luck to them. You guys, on the other hand, a fish man, mm. a clown with a ball, and two fucking wizards, I doubt is going to really be hard to find. Me, on the other hand, all I have to do, change my clothes, leave this place, and no one's going to find me. Has a point. So, what's your guys' plans now? You've made an enemy. Pretty sure he's going to go to this group that we found on the way that were killing off elves or whatever. It'll take some time for that word to travel and for them to come back at us. So, in the meantime, we're going to assist the residents of this village who have taken shelter nearby. That's what we'll do. What are your plans? Just walk away? Are you going to pill for this village? What are you, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm literally just going to fucking get out of here, take whatever money I'm going to get from you, and uh, be on my way. I'd like to start initiative if possible. Okay. I have no reason to let this person leave, considering what they are. They have no loyalty, even to those that they've worked with, you know. Mm -hmm. Pretty despicable in my standards. So I would like to do... Oof. Yeah. Is anybody else joining the initiative? Yep. Actually, <laughs> I think, yeah, I feel... for the sake uh... of trying to figure out what's happening... It'll probably be best for everybody to roll initiative. Yeah. That's my turn. Uh... <laughs> sure. Eek. Are you guys not highlighting your characters when you roll initiative? Yeah, oh, I yeah. may have forgotten per chance. Okay. No problem. Oh, uh, there we go. Come on. I have to do initiative. Did not roll a second oh, yeah. initiative. Oh. Let me, let me... Don't worry, I'm just... So uh, you don't if have you to change be in my the... initiative to three, which was the ah. original. Oh no, I could do that myself. I guess yeah. I can. Aha, uh -huh. I have no use to you, DM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but considering how I did an abrupt attack, would this be considered a surprise round? Or considering the rising tensions? Was now, it was it a, an abrupt attack from where you are? Because that's a 10 foot or like 15 foot gap between you and her. It's not that you would have really surprised her and she already had her gun actively like directed at you with the comment of take from you. Yeah. It would have been it would have been more of a surprise if you were like right next to her, but you were kind of like talking in your little groups. Sucks that she's got such a high initiative. 
these trigger so heavy. what what were your um what were your events what were you doing to trigger this initiative were you going like i can't remember what you've got like a trident or a mace or uh well i oh, know you're a wizard uh, a warlock sorry well, i was actually just raising my arm up at her oh, okay you know she uh she kind of uh <laughs> flicked her her other hand Fuck. okay and gets a one <laughs> Straight out of the fucking gate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I love oh. my life. Oh. Oh. I love that. Of course, she fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what what other like? I'm gonna start initiative. Right, I've got the first turn. <laughs> Three. Oh. Starting off with a bang or a lack there. She fucking falls over. It's it's honestly like an anime comedy skit. Where they're like po you know, being really funny and they just fall over. Oh shit. Everyone looks at her just like what? So her pistol gets knocked from her hand. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Don't. I fucking hate this. I hate this so much. She's stunned for one round. <laughs> and she critically hits herself. Oh. She got 32. <sighs> extra damage to herself. Oh, oh you fucking, <laughs> fucking shitting me. <laughs> hate my life. In that moment, she realised oh, she fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no, she rolled the damage up there, so... She did five, then uh, that's doubled, so she did ten damage to herself as her, like, she kind of goes to draw her, like, pistol and then fucking shoots it, uh, like, kind of breaking her finger, and it drops from her hand, and she falls prone, and then suddenly is just, like, out of it for the next round. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's right, so what do you do, Carrie? I dream of electric sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I just sit there. Yeah, I, I'm still unconscious. Okay. Uh... <laughs> My spirit is cheering you on. Well, oh, it has not departed. <laughs> I walk this lonely road <laughs> on the road of a broken train. Uh, Feynor put up his shield, and I'm currently stuck in the shield. So the only thing I can do is against the shield. Yeah. So now all I can do is go to Kadri and try and help her get up. <laughs> Oh, fucking lord. Do you have anything that can help? You got a personal feeling. <laughs> a what? What? Personal feeling. Oh. oh. Uh, uh, can I uh, have it? Yes. I take the personal feeling, and is it an action or bonus uh. action? To force feed it to. Oh, it's an action to feed it to uh, carry. Okay, I'll do that then. Is it just a regular healing? So that'd be. Yeah, yeah, 2d4 plus 4. Yeah. Or 2, I think it is. 2B, 2d4 plus 2. 9 health. Thank you very much. No worries. And that <laughs> will be my turn. Okay, Fainal, what are you going to do? Rory? 
Yes, yes. Mm. What, are you, what are you gonna do? Mine might not work properly. Um, let's have a look at. Yeah, I'll just try and do a chill touch. On... Okay. On whoever it is. Dab on here. Yes. Okay, that misses. So uh, your your spectral hand like reaches out, and, uh, just doesn't extend far enough to uh, to hurt her. Okay. Yeah, I'll be good. Okay. Right. And Krath. Well, uh, they are prone, so would have disadvantage in ranged attacks, right? Um. Yeah. If you're doing a ranged attack, it would be a disadvantage. I would like to. Walk up to this disgruntled lady, mm -hmm. grab my spear, and just poke her with it. Okay. But, oh. It's a miss. So uh, you jab it, and she kind of like dodges in the dirt. Rolls. Like a disorientation. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose I'm sort of stuck standing next to her. I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Here's my turn. So, it comes back around to her turn, and uh, she brushes herself off, shaking off the, uh, the kind of surprise. It was more of the fact that you, like, as you tried to prompt the attack, uh, she drew too fast, and that was what caused the problem, but now she's taken her time. She's going to... Uh, pull out her scimitar and her dagger and is going to slash you. Oh, oh. yeah, that that hits. Uh, but she, as a response, uh, let me just have a look at the... Oh, you did hellish rebuke. Uh, no, uh, one, I have Armor of Agathy still active. And, uh... Do you? Yeah. It lasts for one hour, and I used it in the previous session. It's why I have the five temporary hit points. Okay, and you guys haven't actually... Because um, I think you're still down for another, like, three hours, so... It's probably only been a few minutes, because you did actually have a conversation between the events. Yeah. But luckily, it would still be up. So, uh, what, she takes the cold damage, then? Yeah, five cold damage. Are you down? Uh... Huh? Me? With a, yeah, with nine Maybe. damage. Wait, oh, she deals nine damage? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm down to zero. Okay, because I'm not sure if it, it... I think it procs anyway. Yeah, uh, she was stunned. Does that apply for this turn, or was that... So, oh. yeah, it starts at the beginning of that round and then ended when it came back to her. Uh, but yeah, I've just fallen back. She was stunned for a round, James, because it was everybody had their turns before her. Oh. <sighs> what? No, never mind. Ignore me. Glares at you. What are you <laughs> hiding from me, boy? <laughs> so you said five damage, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, did she take it five as in total, or five for each hit? Because uh, I think it has a certain amount of uh, temporary hit points, isn't it? Yeah, whilst those temporary hit points are active, the first mm -hmm. hit would have... If... How much damage was on the first hit? Five. five. Yeah, then it was only on the first hit, then, because then those five hit points would be... Oh, so wait, um, you had not, uh, eight HP, didn't you? Uh... So, or was I, that with the armor of Hagathi on it? That wasn't. I, yeah, that That's wasn't. Why you keep track. Because, uh, I didn't know how to do temporary hit points on that and didn't want to confuse. We're now uh, more confused. Yeah, the thing is, my D and D Beyond is different, but I, I, I swear my D and D Beyond is more up to date in terms of H point, HP tracking. Hmm. 
so I technically had nine plus five. Lost the five. Uh, eight plus then... five. Wait, what? So my roll 20 is not as up to date as my. Wait, is it because you leveled up? Because you don't get the hit points until you uh, um, take a rest. That's very true. That's probably the case. So yeah, it would be eight H. So roll twenty eight HP with five temporary hit points, of which weren't applied in that given moment. So you have four HP now. Four HP right now. Okay. Well, I am not on the floor, writhing in pain. I am just standing up, writhing in pain. With yeah, a, a dagger in your in your stomach, in your belly. My belly. What are you doing to my uh, belly? <clears throat> And with that, you actually get a different effect as well. Oh, oh dear. Um, the dagger of defecation. <laughs> Shit yourself. <laughs> it makes you immediately evacuate your bowels. <laughs> um, right, okay. So, funny enough does an extra bit of dagger damage. That was a 1 plus 3. That sucks. Oh wait, it's just an additional die. So Take 2 damage. And as you take that 2 damage, you watch as one of the bodies spurts up blood. <laughs> as if it has also just been stabbed. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, Carrie, what are you doing? Oh, so I wake up. Uh, in order to get up, I have to spend half my movement, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I effectively have. Oh, I'm trying. To... Yeah. Oh, I wasn't in cat form when I got taken out, so I'm fairly uh, sure of that. You were in the hybrid form, weren't you? Ah, yes, I was. Because uh, uh, that gave you 35 movement. That's right. So I have... Half of 35. 17, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, can I assess the situation? Uh, you can, oh. but currently Fainor has a shield up, which will prevent anything from leaving the, uh, the area. I see. Uh, in that case, can I say what's going on? Yeah, you can definitely see. Oh, I'm. Oh, I can see outside. Yeah, yeah. It's not uh, opaque. It. It's translucent, yeah. so you can't actually see the shield. So if you mm. ever did want to do anything, I I'm just see. telling you now. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh. And who can... the fuck is this guy? Is what's written on the. <laughs> <laughs> It's in there since yeah. the beginning. Um, is it a free action just to like talk to them and yeah, be yeah. looking around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I do a perception roll for that? Sure. Yeah. Oh. Nice. So, what are you trying to perceive? Uh, what situation have I woken up to? <laughs> you have woken up to Krath in a uh, melee with um, what appears to be a long brunetted haired woman uh wielding the gorse rifle uh oh, no. similar to a weapon that you saw before but slimmer and more like compact uh but it definitely looks the same as well as her armor probably outnumbering the poor little warlocks i see and i presume i can also tell that i'm surrounded by the shield at the moment. Um, yeah, so like you, you kind of run your hand along it and it kind of makes the like woo, 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 sort of thing. Oh. Cheers for whoever gave me the potion. That oh. would be me. He's a very nice aftertaste. But, uh... Tastes like bugs. <laughs> Tastes like bugs. Mm. Nutritious. I presume that's the last one of the lot we were fighting earlier. Uh, it was the one that helped us, and uh, we were huh. turned, more likely. Uh, turned 
been the operative word on our on our T people. And uh, we tried to negotiate for information, and this happened. I see. Very skewed perspective on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> we it, we were just having a conversation, and then it just spiraled. So we can help. Uh, Don't forget, this is only six seconds, so it's not like yeah. you can have. Uh, yeah, full conversation. Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and, and to be honest, it's for... going to be my turn next, yeah. so I'll probably be continuing um, this conversation. <laughs> yeah, for the for my turn, I resummon my uh, vassal mm -hmm. since it would have desummoned him. Uh, Unconsciousness. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Although slight changes and how that works mm -hmm. in this edition. Um, Put away. <laughs> Um, for the time being, you can now go. Uh, I read up a teeny bit on um reaction. No, is it reactions? Oh, no, it's not reactions. It's saying us. Um, can I do a? When the shield drops, am I able to do a movement action, like a reaction where I move to a certain no. point? No, you no, can't it was just the wording of a thing I saw was interested me. You you can uh, ready an action, but that is yeah. an action. You can't ready a movement. Yeah, you can't ready a movement. Yeah, I see. Got it. I just uh, yeah. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just a disclaimer there. Okay, and uh, then what are you going to do? Yeah, I determine. F I guess I just make sure I have all my valuables on me. Okay, <laughs> as you can imagine. Yeah. Okay. I, I noticed a dagger next to me and I pick that back up. Um, <laughs> and then your boot, I guess. And... Hmm. I guess that's all yeah, you can yeah, do. Yeah, I can really. No, yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, yeah. Lucius, what are you going to do? I continue my co uh, the conversation, and then when we wrap it up, I am going to do chill touch on the lovely woman. Okay. Let's see if I hit. Oh, definitely hit. Do indeed. And eight damage. Takes eight damage. Pull them out. Very yeah. happy. Hand reaches in, pulls out some essence. She feels a cold go down her spine. Uh, do I have any bonus actions? No, I do not. That's my turn. Thank you. Fainal, what are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> I will disable my shield. Uh -huh. Does that take up a whole action, yeah? And I'll just point at her and laugh evilly. <laughs> oh, I'm not done. <laughs> okay. A crazy wizard. <laughs> Crap, what are you gonna do? Uh, are there consequences from doing a point blank range, uh, range Eldritch blast? Um, I don't follow the rules of apparently spells like range spells having disadvantage because it sounds silly. I meant like splashback, but okay. No, no, that's I don't think much of a concept in um D and D other than like an AOE spell. Mm. So oh, unless you've got something that says that it does an AOE I'm on impact. Blasting. Okay, you deal one damage to her. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of like feels the splash of the uh, eldritch water kind of like bump against her she uh, armor. And in retaliation, oh shit. Sorry, I did you a disservice last time and only made one scimitar attack when she can actually make two. Uh -huh. <laughs> What the uh -huh. fuck was that? 
internal stream screaming, although I should have kept it internal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, can, I, can, I can lie to you and say they didn't hit. <laughs> One of them That's, didn't a, hit. That's a good idea. So uh, she takes the scimitar and reeks it across your body, knocking yeah, you down. That's... That's that's fourteen damage, right? Mm-hmm. And possibly a death save. Fourteen. Yep. Uh, minus, minus minus twelve. Ah, uh, thank you, Frank. You can use the ready action to prepare to run if you uh, if something moves towards you. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Is that something? That, wait, so it looks like the roar does not have a simple way to declare the behavior. Something nasty comes to you towards you, Karan. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the source. I'll have to read through it properly. Yeah, I read it something along the lines of you could ready, let's say, a goblin approaches you and you can ready to run away from it. But I would I presume, say... I presume it was like just moving to the side is my presumption of what it meant. But I don't well, know. Weirdly enough... The fact that the dash action is specifically an action, I would say that you're allowed to use that and ready it. Hmm. But instead of providing the full benefit of the dash, which allows you to move double your speed, it would just allow you to move the 30 feet, the additional ones. Hmm. Because it is still an action, and ready action is something where you ready an action. Yeah, and you forfeit your action that turn, don't you? Yeah, because yeah. Uh, it becomes your action and a reaction, which is quite a hefty mm. price. Mm. Mm. Could so. you can you ready an action, but also do your bonus actions before doing that? Yeah, you can. You can actually do that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Because readying an action is just the action, not the bonus action. Mm. Okay, that is actually quite interesting to know. Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics that are at play. Mm. Um, so let's do a one d one hundred and see how that goes. Let's see what the crit is. Boy. Nine. It's going to be terrible. Wait, does that mean I could have went 30 feet? Yeah, but uh, like I said, it wasn't something that I'm aware of. Oh, yeah. We need to check the source first. Yeah, it's fine. We'll we'll leave it that wall for this session then. Same opponent has disadvantage. Okay, so even though you're unconscious, I guess that's nothing. So... It just becomes a normal... Well, you take five damage while you're unconscious, which is then doubled because it's a crit. What is your maximum HP, uh, Krath? Oh, my maximum HP is... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's uh, 21. Oh, oh, oh. I feel safe. Thank God. Okay. Uh... And then this is also being doubled, so four damage in your unconscious state. So that's a total of um, 14. So, yeah, doesn't kill you outright, but you do fail two death saves. Oh, two. That's just fucking oh, yeah. wonderful. She uh... fucking slams the dagger right into your chest as uh, you drop to the floor. So she glides a blade across you as you fall to the ground. Stab. And that's why you've lost two death saves. Oh, boy. If it's a dragon, the nearby body splurts up more blood. Indeed, it almost bursts its eyes, exploding from more damage. Relatable, buddy. Relatable. Hmm. So or actually, should I say that it's a... Uh... Uh, there's no real negative 14. It either outright kills you, so it has to do all your health oh. in, in reverse. Um, or it just uh, does the, like, um, what's it called? Gives you the two death saves, failures. So you're either very dead or going to die. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And as that, she uh, pulls her dagger from your chest, jams it in her, like, hip, and looks over at you guys. Just kind of like gestures. Are we serious uh, about this? Yes. <laughs> Just kind of shrugs. I mean, now that you've hurt a friend, yeah. we can't, 
got not kill you now. Hmm. She begins walking away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. Well, she doesn't even want a part of it. Hmm. Okay. That's fair. Okay. So, Carrie, what's your what's your move? Mm, just reaction. I have to throw her a potion. Carry a potion. I do have a potion, indeed. No, uh, so you um, have to ready an action to do that. You cannot use reactions because they do not exist unless prompted by some other event. So I'm so going to head over to here. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I'm going to use dash, so I'm there, buddy. I have a potion <laughs> in my hand, but you're going to have to survive a death save. <laughs> it's a 50-50 chance. Lucius, what are you doing? I see this carnage, and let me quickly see. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, can I get there? No, I have to sprint. So I'm going to hit her again <laughs> with a chill touch. Okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so you reach out, and once again, she just kind of like maneuvers out of the way. Being sassy. <laughs> Little sass. <laughs> Little sass. <laughs> and, uh, I go, <laughs> you and, go, I go and I go, fuck. <laughs> okay. Feanor, what are you going to do? <sighs> Uh, just double checking. Uh, Rory's character gained inspiration, right? Yes, he did. He can't throw it to other people. It's... He can, yeah. He can, but he okay. can't use one of the features for someone else. It's only okay. uh, yeah. advantage. So he can throw it to someone to for a death save, potentially. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. So, Rory... uh, don't be so sure. It still means we've got a high chance of them dying. <laughs> <laughs> Was not hmm. for life to me. Come on, Roy. I don't want, so I want to let her get away. Um, okay. <laughs> not this one. Okay. Uh, I tried to get the railgun again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Because did you pick it up or did anybody pick it up? Yeah. I yeah, think Roy did. I tried to fire that guy before you ran off, remember? Yeah, yeah. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot you committed to that. And yeah, I'll take aim. Mm -hmm. Oops. Dex, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Don't tell her she's going to wall coughing and she's one and then gets blasted through the middle. <laughs> oh, we'll see. You hit. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's the damage. Uh, so the damage was 3d10 plus your Dex. Not bad. Not bad. And you watch as suddenly and it just kind of darts and the like air kind of dusts around everyone. Uh, and it takes off her arm. <laughs> and she like holds it and shouts Fuck! And that's your uh, turn, right? Actually, which arm was it? Uh, her right arm. Is that... Oh, uh, just as general person perception, did that appear to be her... Uh, what's the word? It was the arm that she was holding the gorse rifle in. Okay. But it's currently on a strap, so even though her arm's gone, the gun's still there. Okay. But that means her. she might not be as good at aiming with the other arm. Oh shit, it's also the arm that she was using her scimitar in. <laughs> oh, the dominant arm is gone. That's the word, dominant arm. That's it. Hmm. Of so, course, she yeah, could be more flexible, who knows? Ambidextrous, mm. who knows? Okay, so with that ending Feynor's term, uh, Krath, what are you going to do? Going to make God a death save. save. Mm -hmm. Come on! 
Where the fuck do I roll for a death save? There yeah, I just roll 1d20. Oh, thank okay. fuck. One oh, success good. with your two right. failures. Yeah, I'm not dead yet. And she stabs me. And <laughs> Unless she gets pissed and tries to kill both of us. <laughs> yeah, she... Ah, I'm she... sure she's not going to get pissed. She uh, swaps the shoulder in which the ghost rifle's on. Mm -hmm. huh. Turns around. Come at me. Takes a shot. It gets who? Rory. She... Uh, well, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just looked at that. Oh no. Wait, how much health do you have for? Uh, 17. Yeah, oh. Doesn't kill me outright. No, no. <laughs> but, don't to use my inspiration. Let's have a double check. We're lucky we're level 3 now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Actually. I feel like I if should I took that damage this. right now, I'm sorry, but you're no longer alive right now. Yeah, Please I'd be dead. Later. If she had targeted me, I would be dead. <laughs> well, there's no reason for her to attack me, so that makes sense. See, I might use a battle scar inspiration. Okay. Your so... arm is missing. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you not read it? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it'll be as bad as my arm. Yeah, you busy. gain a permanent battle scar, uh, even though you've negated the damage. So the wound cauterizing from the uh, the severe shot, but to return the favor, she removes your limb. <laughs> Wait a minute, well, he wasn't able to use inspiration? Or... He used his inspiration. Mm. What was it, the special? To negate the damage. Oh, yeah, special one that gets damage so it doesn't remove. You do not die, but you are now missing an arm. Huh. And in return, she also throws that dagger down at Krath. Oh. She used that gun with one arm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hello. She's multi-attack. So... Yeah. Oh, boy, like, oh, that's a... Crap! Look, 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 dead. Look, dead. And walks away. Oh, uh, shit. This is a nearby body, also. Go pop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Went out of a bang. Oh. All right. Carrie, what are you doing as your friend? No, like he had uh, one more death save to go through. Mm. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. I did a ranged attack at you, so I have to do yeah. the disadvantage. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's still yeah. good hits. Ooh, it still hits. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, man. I was trying to be fair. Fucking rip. Uh, rip yeah, that's a fair. Rooney, man. Yeah. I'm so mm. sorry. Tragic. Yeah. Fatality. He uh he already had two fails, James. So yeah, that was the uh, final pin in the head. Because that one attack did two death saves failures in a go like a single round. Yeah. So yeah, what are you gonna do, Carrie? God damn it. Oh no, it's the boy in blue. What the fuck are you going to do? He's dead. Diggity dead. <laughs> Diggity dead. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I misread it. Don't worry. What? So, the events return back. Because uh, it specifically states that it can only make um, a certain set of actions as part of its multi-attack. So it doesn't just get so random ones. Oh. So, so it can only me... make two Scimitar attacks and one dagger or two you daggers. You can't make one. I can't just go. You can't one go gunshot and then a dagger. So I see. You have to do melee, melee, or okay. Yeah. Wait, fine. So uh, am I dead or not? No, no. I'm dead. Yeah. You're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Uh, one thing I was going to say Phew. is she I was going to let her go. <laughs> I thought it made sense for my character to actually let her go. Okay. But, Are you still applying that? Uh, Good question. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes, sweet. I am. I am letting her go. Um, I'm prioritizing. Uh, I give the potion to Kref. Yeah. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. That's I... 2d4 plus 2. Am yeah. I rolling or are you rolling? I mean, you're all stuck it in my uh, mouth. Winky. Yeah. Sorry. So, Danny Boy, roll. 2d4 oh, yes. plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Oh. 2d4 plus 2. Oh, nice. That is... Max. Oh, beautiful. Max. Never seen a max HP potion before. Yeah, holy shit, bro. <laughs> Damn, you lucky, lucky, lucky. question Did is, she... when it comes back around to her turn, is she just going to shoot him again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, well, I can't do an action to move them out of the way now, can I? Nope. She's... She got hit. Wait, she was here earlier, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. Did she and still she move? She still moved. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she got pierced. She shot there. She yeah. She... Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I move slightly. Okay. So I'm here, ready to pull her into cover just in case she goes for either what, just... uh, craft. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But we can't move her this turn. Uh, him he's, this turn. He's yeah. currently prone, so... Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Cinder says he could drag for half movement. Um, Does sure. that count as if you wanted? No, it's not an action to drag. It's just oh, impended right. movement. Move impeded oh, okay. movement. No, in that case... Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I was in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much drag you over to here. Mm-hmm. Thank you, brother. Save my laugh, you dude. <laughs> she just shoots you through the rampart. So. <laughs> AP nice rounds. Barring in my stomach because, you know. Go on, Lucius. What are you going to do? All right. Seeing that craft is fine, I am just going to... Yeah, but uh... what about Feynor? You watched his arm explode. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I'm worried about. I go off... Fuck. Get shot, really. uh, uh, oh, I want Mess to check him, but at the same time, I want to <laughs> finish off the bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm going magic missile her. Okay. I'm going to use my last level one spell. Mm-hmm. So that's a free. I have to do that four t- three more times. Mm-hmm. Poor Rory, he can't do somatic components anymore. Oh, yeah. Rory, you're going to have to start. Uh, So somatic components requires hand movements. So if you've got something that has V and S next to it, you can no longer do the ones with S. There we go. Okay, so she gets bludgeoned for... Hold on, I need, to do, I need to do one more because it is four, isn't it? Or is no, it three? it's only three. It's three. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> but it's plus one. Oh, that was even with the plus one. So yeah, she just takes the nine damage. And you watch as she kind of gets hit in the back with them. Kind of looking fed up <laughs> and looking over her shoulder. Kind of hoisting the gun a bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> God. And I'm going to I'm going to grab uh, Feynor and slowly move back out of uh, eyesight. It went it's from like <laughs> everything was uh, in our favor at the very beginning when she's on her back, you know, lost her trigger finger. And then and then it all went to shit. Yeah, so you, yeah. you can't you can't drag Roy. He is currently a standing conscious person. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've remembered that. So I'm going to move myself then. Lucius, Lucius, I, I'm awake, Lucius. My arm. <laughs> Get off me. What are you doing? 
<laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna kill this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill my bitch. What are you gonna do? I think well, turns out all the spells are quite ass, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you now no longer have a gun for this two-armed weapon. Or two-handed weapon. Shout, could I have a gorse you rifle? Can we swap guns? Left leg, like, up forward, so you can, like, rest the gun on your leg. <laughs> oh, God, you're going to have to, um, high school into dead it. Where you yes, just get this yeah, yeah. Big oh, yeah. <laughs> that, would, that would kill the person you use. That would literally just, like, break their ribs or burn them to death. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it would work the same. Oh, she had Can a you... shock absorbent implants in her titties. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, your uh, your arm is both cauterized but in absolute disarray. Your hand, like in the other hand, probably like shaking, even though you didn't take, like, weirdly enough, it's probably the adrenaline that's keeping you at the health that you're at. It's just like, so what are you gonna do? Um. Hmm. How much movement have I got? Not enough. <laughs> Unless you just want to get shot. Well, I'll activate shield and do thirty-five. Uh, 35. Shit, I just realised. Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I forgot you've got the extra speed, don't you? So, Been a fool. you now shield it up. Is that it? Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then crap, what are you going to do? <clears throat> a thing I forgot to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, I'm going to going to move here. Peek mm -hmm. out. Uh, I'm gonna just double check distances. I mean, it should certainly be within range. Yes, it is. I'm gonna place some Thurgan uh, in tentacles. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna place. Oh my god! Some tentacles right behind her, mm -hmm. and I am. Which this is my what was it? Bonus action. Yep. Yep. And it will still deal damage. Yep. So does a ten hit? Uh ten does not hit. You know. Ooh. It's a distractor, at least. Even though she just kinda of turns around. Looking at like, oh, it. Oh <laughs> uh does this count as difficult terrain? Uh no. Okay. Well, it makes sense because it's going to slow down when it hits, but it didn't hit. Uh, no. Well, she's distracted. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Here's hey, where the choice is coming to play. <laughs> Considering what she did to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I... You okay over there? I already. So my spell slots are definitely used up, which sucks. Um, well, decided. I'll just I'll 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 splash you with some more water. Which is a miss. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Stop. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> just I'm just gonna take a step back. Okay. Like like I was never even there. Yeah. Because I'm hiding Jeez. like a bitch. She's going to get to there, whistle for her horse, like, and then ends up seeing this like horse running from one of the other sides, and also makes a sprint as it gets closer. There you go. So take an action to mount. That's one big scary horse. Which one? <laughs> I was looking around for the horse, and there was a like, huge compass oh, icon. <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay, so karate. What are you gonna do? Oh, hmm. I look on the corner and 
but I see that she's GTFO. Yeah, pretty much out of any possibility of me doing anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just kind of go. I shrug and go. Yeah, she's got away from us. Oh, oh well, at least we're alive. Yeah. You just yeah. see a bomb by your feet with a small time ticking. <laughs> no. Oh, it got TikTok. I yeah. guess I start heading over to the house where the people we were trying to protect were. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cast an old paper position and is. She said healthy. she was going to take her mon- like money from us, but she didn't actually take any money, did she? No. Well, it, it turned out it was more trouble than it was worth. She didn't even uphold her own threat. <laughs> That's right, run away. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't actually threaten to harm you, she just threatened to take it from you. That could have implied so many different things. And you got <laughs> violent. <laughs> <laughs> well, and a, I wanted to you know. make a deal, and yet we got into this fight. <laughs> yeah, your deal was. Guys, who's more charismatic? I don't know how to talk to her. I'm rich and I don't understand social etiquette for people who need money. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Lucius, what are you doing? Right. I am. Uh, Actually, I should have used dash action. Going... I just. Dash, 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 dash. Yeah, I'll do. Dash up here to Faymore and uh, we touch my arm. do a medicine check. Okay. And try and do something would be to try and see how bad it is. Mm-hmm. It's gone. <laughs> well, yeah, I know it's gone, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Even yeah. with an 18, you can see it's gone. <laughs> I mean, it's bleeding, it's spurting blood, and he's probably going to pass out or That's, something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you could band and gym up with this role as well. Yeah, like that's... Just tear off some of your, like... Tunic cl- and cloak. Just tear off yeah, my cloak. Like... <laughs> I mean, it seems fairly cauterized, but it is, like, obviously oozing some bleed. Tear off my cloak and start banding it very tightly and go... Why it helped it? Fuck it. <laughs> this is fucking... I'm normally only used to dealing with the dead, <laughs> not the fucking living. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Right, Fainor, what are you going to do? Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, I'm sorry to say, Lucius, you can't actually get to him and do that because of the shield. Oh, fuck, yeah, fuck. <laughs> you shout through the barrier to him, your arm, it's gone. <laughs> I mean, to re- I mean, to do something to reattach or to just keep a wound clean. Put on the shield! The <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you have done instead then? Because um, you can still make that medicine roll as an observation. Um, but, I did a uh, medicine. Yeah, I did the medicine roll. It's a free do action. Do my free. Yeah. So what action do you want to take? <sighs> Fuck's sake. Uh, how far? How far away is she? You can't see her, so you can't yeah. cast spells by line of sight. And I, I don't have enough movement, so I'm just going to be put my hand on the shield and go, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be my turn. Okay. And then Krath, what are you going to do? Is she still there? Yeah, she's still on that horse. Well, I'm going to move this. Um... I just saw the horse. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a big dog. It's, it's... <laughs> I tried, all right. I tried. Uh, technically, it's Feyna's turn. It's... Feyna. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, Feyna. I forgot. I thought... Uh, yeah, I turn off the shield. <laughs> Not off of the <laughs> shield. is down. Then I run over and go, Oh, come back here. I'm not finished with you yet. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, what? See, I'm getting me mallet. Okay, and then what spell are you casting? Oh, um, boy. 
<laughs> try as hard as I can, but nothing comes. Nothing. You like reach out with your spare hand and try and do the components with your your other hand, but it's gone. You've got phantom limbed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, like I, I said, Rory's got like adrenaline pumping through him. That's kind of like yeah, what's got the, him. There going. is a psychological condition where extreme physical trauma to the body can induce a, a very focused and controlled state of mind. It happens it, so fast as well. It's like the it, shock it's the is of, it's him. a type of shock. Yeah. It's like people who lose both their legs in an explosion attempt to run. <laughs> 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 those poor, poor children on those landmines. <laughs> it's but, a budget. Uh, no, it's a cripple. <laughs> okay, so then I guess it would be Krath. Well, tis but the tentacle. Yep, turn. it will. Tis the tentacle. Can't move that move far, can I? Right alongside her. I thought we only had 30 foot movement. Hold on, that's probably the case. It is. It's like 660 spawn, but 30 movement, I think. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I have to do a double check. Uh, a... Yeah, so it could not reach you. It's just a very angry. W wiggling mass of tentacles. Yeah. Could try and run after her with it. <laughs> 30, then 30, every time she gets further and further away. It'll chase her to the end of the earth. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> People nearby would just see some like a rival right tentacles slide. Yeah, she threatened you that you couldn't go anywhere without being noticed, and then suddenly she just gets cursed with a tentacle orb. She's like, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, have you uh have you seen the 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 YouTube series, a really old YouTube series called like Extremely Horrific Murder of the Excessively Inefficient Weapon? No. Uh, <laughs> very strange. It's to do with a Shinigami, a god of death, chasing after a man. The weapon of choice, a silver spoon. Gently tapping him. Oh, I do oh, know that yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember. Oh, it, no, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's messed a classic. <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> with a spoon! <laughs> I will kill you with a spoon. Right, um, so is, that, is that all your turn? The, uh... Hold on. Are you going to move yourself? Push Five, past Feynor? Drop him into the lagoon? <laughs> Get out of the way, Feynor! She fucking almost killed me! Look at your arm! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I can, I can still reach her. I'll reach blast. Yep. Finish. Finish her. Finish her! Oi! <laughs> What's the matter with the 13? Oh, wow, I'm going up in increments now, aren't I? Yeah, oh, so uh... it kind of just <laughs> against the floor. I kill a single blade across. <laughs> Fortunately, the rock didn't tail. stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Why must the worst ones get away? <laughs> we got two people that see card and, death. Uh... <laughs> and before she uh, runs away, she shoots at Krath. <laughs> that's a hit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a hit. Oh, okay. for fuck's sake. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, um, You're down again. again. Yeah. <laughs> at least you're not dead. Yeah, you're not dead. <laughs> and she runs away. Oh, I should have tied him up when I brought him to that corner as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could keep her on because the map keeps going. Yeah, sure. Run. Yeah, yeah, sure. Realistically, sure. keep on the map. Why can't we kill things, man? Okay. This is an extra taunt to the Because we corner. can't. <laughs> I just want to get the bad guy. He's, uh, he's what the fuck. Damn, I deleted her, but I know she was at the top anyway. So, Carrie, what are you going to do? Um, oh, I don't want to include the horse in the turn order. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. What are you doing? You don't like. You, you've pretty much gone in there to look for the uh, people. 
Yeah, pretty much. Uh, sorry, I'm waiting on the map to stop pixelating. Oh, God. It zoomed out for a moment, and now I zoomed back in. And now it's, uh... Yeah, but I think I know what I was going to do. Uh, hmm. Knock and go. The people are currently inside cowering. Hearing the multiple gunshots from yeah. ghost rifles. Yeah, it, multiple times shaving off the house. They also saw um, what happened to Rory. <laughs> they saw uh, his arm get cut. Oh no! Uh, and they also saw him run towards the person that caused it with <laughs> reckless abandon. <laughs> 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 so, what do you do to get in there? Uh, I slightly push it on guy. Okay. Uh, I think the coast is clear. And unless you're going to do an action, that's the end of your turn. Uh, should I do a, a uh, <laughs> per persuasion roll? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're not convinced. They're still all huddled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, least, least a bit longer until uh, sure. Yeah, we'll help get your people back as we get fucking decimated by a single person. Yeah. Like five of us, like... <laughs> I dash off away to craft. Yeah, we, we can totally and, help uh, people. I'm going to do a medicine trick just to you stabilize. Fuck's sake. Uh... <sighs> Yeah, I would. Uh, I basically dash up and stare at get him as he, like, and stare. It's a big old chunk out of his like abdomen. Suddenly, like it just gush out blood and go. We were looking for heroes. <laughs> the heroes weren't available. <laughs> and they got the incompetent. <laughs> Rory, what are you gonna do, Mister Fainor? Be right back. See, I just fall on my back with. Mm. Uh, Exhaustion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, can you mark down one uh, point of exhaustion? Oh no. As you're taking time to be exhausted, the adrenaline no longer keeping you going. So, as part of exhaustion, uh, you now have one point in it, and that means you have disadvantage on all ability checks. Yay. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> exhaustion huh? is also a thing you can track in D&D Beyond. Yeah. So, Krath, what are you doing? Um, Being dead. Uh, I'm so. rolling a death saving throw. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a one? No, nope, it's a pass. Yeah. Just turns around. Just like, fucking die! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. How far cool. away is she? Uh, is that out of her reach? <laughs> yes, please. Have mercy. Unfortunately, it's not. So she's going to take a shot at disadvantage. Uh, I'm going to roll a 1d. Oh, wait, no. I guess she would just aim at the person standing up currently. Uh, oh, wait, the person next to me. Yeah. Yeah, standing up. Because uh, she would have disadvantage. Technically, she gets disadvantage. So I'll do a 1d3. So it's going to be you, Krath. <laughs> she really has it out for you. Does a 15 hit you? Uh, yeah, it does. Okay, so you take two death, fa uh, death saves. Deja vu, huh? Don't you know it's a mystery? <laughs> She's still <laughs> shooting at us even now. Yeah, she had what disadvantage. What you know? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, so, so, um, what is it? Oh no, I guess would it count as one death fail or two when you're being hit when you're down? I thought because I know two was crit melee, two. wasn't it? Like yeah, so you might have just taken one. Yeah. So don't worry, it's not two, it's just one. And then she's going to move a little bit more. 
just going to leave you guys up in in your fucked up world. Even though we fucked up her arm, so she's, she'll be back. Will she? <laughs> I mean... Mm. I mean, we, oh, took, no, her, lost we took her arm off, so like... And I'm back. Okay, welcome back. You're just in time. Uh, <laughs> Tom got shot. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Almost died because he took 19 damage while unconscious. Mm. Actually, that's a question. Uh, what's your max health? 21, did you say? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you're fine. Uh, <laughs> Carrie? Technically speaking, fine. <laughs> technically. <laughs> yeah, technically uh, speaking. I guess I... Just lost a few hairs. Um, you know, maybe... Part yeah, of I'm about to head back thing. over to... <laughs> The question is, do we roll to see if you've lost a limb from that shot? Uh, yeah, I'll... That's okay by me. <laughs> That's my turn. Sure. Let's have a look. <laughs> Chaos! Everybody. We're going to all look. be happy missing limbs at this point. <laughs> uh, this stream will be sponsored by Amputee Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> we just make this sound like a corporation of just, just out yeah. amputees. We well, just had to pray that uh, with the civilians is an artificer and a cleric. <laughs> Costs a fee to become amputee. Think <laughs> <laughs> got to do get shot in the arm of a gorse rifle. So let's see if there, because I swear there is a limbs table on this thing. So be like me, <laughs> an amputee, you just gotta piss off the right people. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, so on the body parts table, roll a one d one hundred. Yeah. Whoa. Don't go don't sure aim for the head. <laughs> Sixty. Mm. That doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> try again. What do you mean? Oh, was it a head? head. Yeah, that's the head. That's the head. Yeah. You just removed your head. head. I don't <laughs> think she could have precisely shot off both your ears with one bullet. One ear, out, one ear the out the other. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, actually, I can do it on a smaller scale. So, uh, you got my ear. <laughs> Both my ears. A... <laughs> uh, uh, it's one d six. Amputee team. Yeah, we're uh, team amputee. <laughs> So yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, just roll a one d six, and it will determine what part. So you're gonna take my nipple off. Okay, so front limbs. What? Ooh. Do I have any back limbs? Don't. Oh wait, so. Front limb, wait, means front limb, so arms. So you've also lost an arm. <laughs> Left or right? Uh, which way would you have been laying? So probably your right arm, uh, your left arm. Oh, that's my uh, something or other arm. <laughs> you don't have a penis, you're a fish. <laughs> you have a fenish. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because like an octopus, one of their one of their limbs is their dick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, have you seen was it a scary movie with the aliens that piss up piss out their fingers and they're sticking it mm -hmm. in the guy's mouth? Yep. Yeah. Good times. I wonder if I could summon the tentacles on my arm. Oh. Well, what used to be left? The... How much of the arm did it take off? Uh, from your like, um, what is it? Forearm down. Cool stump. Good sticker. Stick a pointy thing on it, and just not have much reach with it. <laughs> yeah, you. But you can uh, put a spike in it and stab people. Stab at the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 stump. Okay, so back to James, uh, Daniel's turn. Sorry about that. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. Uh, I'll go to the front and... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. 
get some stream interaction, which oh, does not lose. <laughs> you get you get a fucking wheel of fortune. Wheel Actually. of torture. <laughs> Actually, yeah. as I approach, I see that they've clearly been taking shots from someone. Mm-hmm. So I kind of peek from the corner. She shoots you. <laughs> uh, you peek around the corner the and you can barely see her off in the distance. Okay, I oh, won't say. Right, probably because he's not going to do anything. Lucius, what are you doing? Right, I'm doing my medicine check to stabilize. Mm-hmm. Stabilize nice. crab. I can no longer two two handed. Okay, that's a pass, so you stabilize him. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm back. Welcome back. I uh, uh, just kind of lost over your turn. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, uh, roll a 1d4 to see how long he's out. Yep. Would it be politically what? incorrect to deem being an amputee as a four? Uh, he's out he, for an hour. You're handy capable. <laughs> handy <Yeah>. capable. <laughs> so you're out for one hour. Uh, okay, so. Fainor, what are you going to do? Cinder's calling you out for enjoying mutilation a bit too much. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I just yep. think it's important so that people can understand this. Your actions have consequences! <laughs> mm. When will you learn? When will you learn? You know? yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so what are you going to do, Rory, other than uh, be exhausted? So yeah, I'm just going to just gonna close my eyes and have deep thoughts. Okay. <laughs> yeah. this, this, this pit is really deep, like the one I keep getting lowered into every time I lay back. <laughs> ah, God, my, my arm is so great. I love my arm. Mm. Also, to drive an mm. agony because it fucking hurts. Oh, my arm. <laughs> oh, you finally noticed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> contain the pain. Contain the pain. Um, Gary, put my arm back on. Your arm. Gary. All right. Like, so, put my arm back on, Gary. Uh, and then I. Oh, wait, you don't need to make a death save. So, Krath, you are unconscious. Uh, so, you're not going to be in the turn order for a little while. Yeah. Um, she is also going to just straight up sprint, so she is no longer on the screen, and you are no longer in combat for Two now. Two people we want dead that have just gotten away with it, <laughs> leaving you both very unhappy. I don't know we're what you're going to go back to that lady. Be like, oh yeah, we're we're still up for helping. It's like we got no limbs left to help. Like, <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. Um, I think you should just leave. Like. <laughs> Look, you guys, you should probably go see someone because that guy's missing an arm. You are missing an arm. I don't. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with you guys. <laughs> Fedor just starts I mean, making like I a. Think she, uh, uh, she dropped one of her scimitars. That's still around here somewhere, right? She did, yeah. It's currently on the floor over here. Covered in arm viscera. Yeah. Luckily, there's no guts in your arm, it's just muscle. Oh, my intestines yeah. sticking out of my arm. <laughs> From a pure counter standpoint, I'd say. I mean, I mean, fish people may have a weird anatomy. You never know. Oh. I de- you I never don't know. know. You never know. For my counter standpoint, as so I think that my character probably. <laughs> Think that there's no chance of us ever wading the place in the sky and getting treasure, mm-hmm. and would probably just return back to the circus at this point. <laughs> <laughs> just for a, a be real moment, kind of going on. Yeah, <laughs> but then that means the character leaves the D and D. I don't know how the rest of you guys are going to carry on. You've got yeah, two spell casters who can't cast spells. Well, I can. I've got my other arm. Or maybe I can cast on my stump. No, you can't cast somatic opponents without both arms. It may, we meet an artifice, sir. Uh, so when did or... the D&D end? Um, <laughs> yeah, our character didn't die. Oh, that's cool. We're having stump. 
Uh, they could no longer fight, and they all retired. Yeah, they they, <laughs> <laughs> they they lost their vocation. Yeah, don't worry, I saw it, James. <laughs> I know it's in a perfect relation to the no somatic component thing. <laughs> uh, look, guys, they're casting spells without without. He at least had a wrist stump. They don't even have that. <laughs> they got nubbins. They got bits of fried chicken going on. So what do you guys do? You guys are now out of company. You're free to move. Technically, oh. crap is out for an hour. <laughs> Does my dissected arm smell like diced up fish? Yeah, it smells a bit like uh, calamari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, I just look at uh, uh, Carrie and go uh, and go. Well, that went fucking well. <sighs> uh, let's get to into the house. I start dragging craft. <laughs> start dragging him back. Uh, are you, are you, not, the house. you don't even stabilize me. I did stabilize you. Oh, okay. okay. You're out for an hour. Yeah, for, so one HP then. I guess mm -hmm. I track down or N2. Well, you'll get one HP when you're uh, awake. Yeah, you will have to sleep an hour before you wake up. Mm -hmm. Mom, where's my arm? I need my arm. Uh, I, I drag. Okay, now I think about it, isn't it dangerous to. Oh, well, they're oh. just unconscious, they're already stabilized. Yeah. Them around all we want. I drag I mean, crap. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I drag and then I start moving out to go where I last saw uh, poor, poor Feynor's arm. <laughs> and do I find it is the question. I'm going to investigate the area. What, for his arm? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't it before? Well, I guess check just in case. Yeah, unfortunately, you do find what's left of his arm, which is kind of like burst and burst. burning. Oh, <laughs> lovely! It got superheated in a moment where it passed through it. So, like any muscle that or uh, like meat exploded essentially from the sheer heat of the just movement. Just a bit of salt and pepper and a bit of extra seasoning, and this will be a perfect meal. That it would. And I also go behind a bomb because I do remember, <laughs> I do I do recall that I dropped my dagger. So I pick up the dagger and then uh bring the arm back into the building. Because if I put on that hide armor immediately in terms of it doesn't uh hide armor have twelve AC. I would have still had my arm. I just you know. Didn't feel like changing in the moment. It it would be fourteen technically because it's hide. What is? The uh, beyond my belly got. Oh yeah, yeah. So it'd be two plus whatever your dex modifier is. Oh no, leather is um one uh, eleven plus dex. Oh uh, okay. No, you said you said it was hide though, which is different to leather. Quantity beyond. That is probably correct then. So go by the hide rules because it is much more correct than I am. Uh, I think it was leather gauntlets, wasn't it? Leather gauntlets and hide um, yeah. armor. And I think now is a good time to have a short rest, maybe a long rest. Yeah. <laughs> and probably talk with the people. <laughs> We're just going to completely ignore the people we promised to help. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll to investigate the unknown person. I uh, I I just go, turn to the rest of the people and go. Uh, well, so wait, was it uh, Lady Velrosia, the the person this, the bandits were saying that were seeking, right? Kayla, uh, they were seeking. Yeah. Kayla. Yeah. And there's no Kayla here, from what I know. I go okay, uh, so I go to them. Okay. Um. Just that it happened. I, I would like to clarify something quickly as it is. Yeah, I'd like to ask something to uh, go uh, to clarify. I have looked it up. Mm. You only need one hand to cast somatic components, so people mm. who have spell casting can cast spells. 
Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. Good to hey. know. Um, <laughs> last session, did I notice there was another person in the building? Yes, you yeah, noticed it as uh, she kind of like peeked over to you. Hmm. Okay. So I guess. Does it specify that both like both hands have to be attached? Because it's, it mentions having a hand, but does it specify that it has to be attached? Your to hand. Yeah, but also if you like um if you do that thing where you just kind of get someone else to put their arms under your armpits and then just kind of like... <laughs> But no, it needs to be able to make gestures. Okay? Unless you can gesture it with your mouth. But then you probably won't be able to do the uh, vocal components. Was well, uh... that a like um narrative thing really? Yeah, yeah. The handsible by like wiggling her eye. Uh, I remember that one. I, I do remember a thingy being able to cast, like, do it with one hand. So it was the uh, the Kakashi's ro uh, potential romance. Oh. oh, her from the key. Uh, uh, yeah, she was from the uh, clan. Yeah. Oh, the picnic clan. Anyway, back to business. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, what are you guys doing? You're back in the building. The people are around you, I'm, being I'm like, oh, God, "What yeah. happened?" I'd like to acquire who the mystery person is. Uh, are they actually visible to us now? Not, or are they no, still? They, they, they were upstairs when you saw them. They're still Someone hiding. With insomnia, okay. I sure am unconscious a lot. Uh, in that case, <laughs> I mean, this, got... is, this is the best sleep you've had for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it just, okay. you know, cost me an arm. <laughs> yeah, go I, on. Then. You go on, Dan. Oh my In that case. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Where? Where? This is the floor, isn't it? Oh. Sorry. I didn't mm. know that's where you were going. I just thought, you know. Yeah, sense. go on. Uh, yeah, I guess I go upstairs. Uh, I had to pay... Actually, uh, am I going to say this room and this room are completely gone, pretty much, from the laser? Uh, I think it destroyed not this one. They're just like they're, um, yeah, they've got like massive holes through them. Uh, which room did I think it was in? Should I do a history check? Oh, uh, what the woman? Yeah, uh, this one yeah. as she was peeking down. So, okay, so you would know roughly what the layout of the building is based on being on the underside. Um. Uh, Lucius was the one who knew the name of the person they were looking for, right? I mean, they called out to all of you about yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. I did mention it again. He had enchanting gauntlets, and he could only wear one of them. But that Unfortunately, effect... I have not committed the name to memory. As a player, yeah. I don't know if I catch would for them. No, you don't have to remember. It's not important unless you want to call out her name. Yeah, I did want to call out her name. I I wanted to knock and say, uh, are you... Uh, decent? Suddenly naked. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to knock and uh, say her name. Uh... Unfortunately, if you haven't remembered her name, you'll have to roll for it. Yeah, okay. The oh, history well. check. To be fair, it kind of makes sense for your character. You really yeah, she's kind of leaving the details to everyone else. <laughs> Go. Yeah, you don't remember her name. <laughs> Just going to says, I drag uh, uh, Lucius up with me. <laughs> I get dragged along. Hey, Lucius, what's that the person they were looking for? This bandit, guys. Uh, the uh, name was Keela. Ah, cool. Go back! Uh, I want to be monkey! And I'm with her. Is your name Keela? You don't hear any reply. Uh, hmm. And then I say it's Keela. Keela. Oh, Keela. Huh. Hmm. Still no reply. I push the door. Is uh, it uh, I I step I step to the back, you know, just in case. Dagger out. Uh, 
it's not locked um so you just begin to open it and uh make a deck save oh okay. yeah okay you watch as a <laughs> uh crossbow bolt ends up in the door in the door wait what yeah. on the other side no uh, I dumped the side as you or... open the door as you open the door mm -hmm. uh instead of taking your step in uh you watch as when you open the door the the sort of oh i see before it's even in. it's completely open yeah. i see i see it's an hmm. it's open enough for if you were to have stepped in but you're not you're probably being cautious and opening it yeah. first before you step I see, in I see. thus yeah the crossbow bolt is now wiggling in front of your face like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's slight music. It's just um, I'll I'll do what we did last time, which was just stop it and then start it again. Though you might need to refresh it. I can hear it now. Okay. Hmm. Cool. All I need to do is stop and start it then next time. Um, yeah. So, uh, what do you do as the the bolt enters the door? Uh, they say, uh, out loud, we, we mean no, no harm, we're just, I just, I, I was brought up here, but we don't mean to do any harm, we're just here to, to find out who you are. What I agree, there was persuasion. Oh, not that good. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no. my persuasion is crap. You don't even hear any response. Yeah, I, I just probably still loading the crossbow. Uh, I push the door completely open. Oh, well, as you walk in, you see that the crossbow is rigged by like uh, a bit of string on the door handle, um, on the other side of the door, and hmm. it's kind of set on a, a desk. Oh, I see. Uh, the perception on the well. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've already bolted from. Hmm. Okay, what you see is uh, a kind of demolished room. Uh, some of the like the beds that were currently in uh, were originally in the room have been crushed down to the bottom floor, uh, as well as you know the room becoming dishevelled from the impact. Uh, and you do notice that there is a woman laying on the ground um, under some rubble. Oh. Uh, okay. I... Uh, uh, I just go... Just it, it. Uh, okay. You're I better um, have you lifting for me. Uh, I still help out, even though I'm not going to do this very well. Uh, so would that be an athletics or just a strength check in general? Uh, it would just be a general strength check. Yeah. I guess I'll help out. Mm -hmm. So I get an advantage on whoever has the better strength. Or um, whoever's active. Which was technically me, actually. I would do it. You would. I would suggest you do it because... Okay. So... Technically I'm stronger, but I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, you can both roll your own individual ones. Thank uh, you. So, yeah, you, you manage to get the debris off. It's like uh, wooden panels, things like that. Uh, and you get them off of her, and she kind of like... <sighs> Who are you? And she uh, kind of like shakes herself awake, uh, almost as if um, your movements had roused from being unconscious. Uh, I just put my hands on my hips and go, I'm Lucius. This is Kyrie. Hello. We had plans with bandits earlier. I noticed you peeking earlier. Peeking? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Hmm. You not you noticed this one beforehand? What's your name? I'm Keller. Oh, well. Keller. Well, Kayla, we just met a couple of people uh, who were very interested in meeting you. And we killed most of them, but two got away. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
the uh, attack, Baron... I, I got trapped, knocked unconscious. Uh, uh, can I? Inciting her. I'm inciting okay. her. Oh, why? Why am I wrong? Yeah, she so seems bad? fairly genuine. She's <laughs> really shocked about what's happened, and she even has like bruises on the side of her like body from possibly an impact. Uh, I, I just go, okay. Hmm. Uh, we just met some people who were looking for Kayla. But it looks like uh, you're a bit injured. Are you alright? Yeah, she kind of like sits up and holds her arm in place. She's just like, she don't mind. Yep, I'm going to do a medicine check. Oh. No, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. it seems like whatever's happened, like every time you kind of touch her, she kind of like, like really clenches in response as if it's like really, really hurt. Uh, oh. I got, um, yeah, this is not going to work. And um, then I y use, uh, you see like a thick mucus appear on my skin. And yeah. it's kind of like a little situation, and I say, uh, you might want to... Uh, sorry about this, and I uh, lift up my finger and go, you might want to just have a taste it, uh, to help with the pain. She raises her an eyebrow, she kind of moves back a bit. I do a persuasion. Uh, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, but... No, Makes I'm me even okay. more creepy. Thank you. I, I can I can deal with the pain. Don't worry. I don't <laughs> need to go licking your fingers for anything. I'm also slightly uh enough. <laughs> okay, fun. Yeah, I actually actually <laughs> no actually I know what my cat will do. <laughs> yeah, I go and take. Uh, I uh uh. What did you say it was? Some mucus. Uh, I eat the mucus. Okay. The finger? Yeah. Off his finger. I I'm curious what I know if it tastes like. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Creativity. The world is in need of new ideas and bold action. Yeah, okay, I mean... Sick. Sure. Uh, okay. You nom like a cat on her finger as, uh, she presents, uh, as he presents it. Uh, oh. Licking what appears to be a viscous liquid coming from her pores. Uh, from his paws. Paws? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was trying to think of paws as in the cat thing and paws I want anything the... for it? <laughs> uh, no, you just feel a numbing sensation in your body as well as a strange... What would you describe the flavour as? Um, Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> right. I would, it would say... probably have to be quite chemical as opposed to something yeah. fruity. Yeah, I would say it tastes like a salty bitter taste like acidine almost oh god oh <laughs> yeah so it's a not a paracetamol Ugh. yeah it's not great oh. tasting but it works <laughs> so yeah you just feel like the injuries that you had earlier um are now numbed and like the aches in your body are gone does that actually heal or does it just mean like... no it just no, no. just numbs the pain oh. almost as if it Stabilizes. No. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, test but, kind of interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't know. Kello just that. kind of just... looks at you guys and is just like, right. So, um, <laughs> what is going on? Uh. Uh, we uh, have been having issues with bandits currently, and they were looking for Kayla. Might not be you, but... Well, I... I am a guest here. Uh, I'd, I'd been here for a little while. I'm not sure why they'd be looking for me. Hmm. Who, who were they? No clue. Do not know. Hmm. They just were looking for someone named Kayla. You got no names, no faces, nothing. We uh, have show you the faces outside. We have faces. <laughs> we have a few names, 
but... We have their faces, is how you should word it. <laughs> but we can't say who they are, what they are. She, uh, she kind of begins to stand and continues to hold her arm, like cradling it in the other. She's just right. like, well, whatever's happened, we need to go find the rest of the town. Do you know if they've gone anywhere? Uh, if you're yeah, last time, all the goblins coming in. Uh, yes. Uh, we've dealt also dealt with the goblins, but gone to a cave nearby, so we need to go there. I get them, but currently two of our two members of our party are unconscious. Well, we are... one's unconscious, the other one is just in pain and exhausted. So we may take. She doesn't take... need a whole life story. <laughs> I leave. <laughs> she also begins to like a. She kind of like, you know, tips her head a uh, comment and kind of nods in agreement. Yeah, I don't. I don't need all the story. And like a little. Well, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> she she gives a little whistle and you watch as like a snake with wings coils itself around her arm like mm -hmm. the one that's injured and then she begins to hold it again okay. um and she follows after you flying oh. snake interesting and uh yeah she walks downstairs with the rest of you uh and you guys are greeted with um every kind of standing around in the group uh the the the, the people that you saved from the the keep uh down waiting uh uh, just as a thing I'm observing, I'm observing the reaction to seeing her. You you see as, um, like, none of them really have, like, a keen reaction. Like, none of them are overly joyed to see her. Um, mm -hmm. but they're not, like, disapproving you. Okay, so they, uh, but it seems, it seems they know who they, she is. Yeah, like, um... That's generally, no. They kind of, uh... You know, They're not her. like, oh, who is this random person who's appeared? They <laughs> no, no. They they have a recognition uh, recognition of who she is. Hmm. Like, they've definitely seen her quite a few times before. Uh, even one of comes over and it's just like, ah, you were right, Kayla. You, you're doing okay. What's her reaction? I guess. She, she just, uh, you know, kind of uh, not and she's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just my arm's a bit damaged, though. I sit down and go, all right. We have a problem. We have to wait for our party before we go and get the others from the cave. Question. Is anybody who went to the cave an, uh, a fighter, a cleric, a healer? Um, you might lose are, you asking, <laughs> are you asking um, Rosa or? Um, I'm asking Velorosa. Uh, Velorosa. She says, um, not that I'm aware of. We don't normally need any clerics or anything. Um, I mean, we do do have our, our priest, but uh, I, unfortunately, I think he didn't survive. Ah. Okay then, let's... Eh, it's gonna... It'll be fun, they'll be fun. Uh, we just need a, a little bit to wait for them to wake up before we can start heading towards the cave. Hmm. hmm. Got any uh, food? <laughs> we, do, we do have some rations if, uh, if you need. Um, well, well, for all of us. Get off my arm. <laughs> uh, apologies. Uh, he's a uh, very fun. Uh, yes, he's your arm. Uh, I give. Uh, I hand him what's left of the arm. Like, uh, you see, like um, the base of the arm is kind of all splintered and splattered, as well as the uh, you know the, the upper arm being. 
Hmm. You okay with seeing it, Rory? You're not freaked out by your own <laughs> severed arm? <laughs> I just check on the ground. Just, yeah, don't look at it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and how are the uh, lovely civilians reacting to Patiko's? <laughs> Uh, there's a there's a, a squeak of uh, recognition and a uh, slight sort of gasp. Uh, are you are you sure rest will be able to suffice? Uh, how long do you need? I mean, <laughs> just a quick nap. <laughs> uh, I I say I, I say at this rate we might need a long rest, but it depends on uh, what. Crafts is when he wakes up in about an hour, maybe less. It's always good, All right? Sleeping sounds. Uh, <laughs> 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 so you guys um, relax for what needs to be two hours because you don't benefit from a long rest mm. when you're unconscious. Uh, or sorry, even a short rest. I mean, um, yeah. So you guys get to take two hours. Uh, one of which is with Krath being awake. Anybody that needs to spend any hit die that they still have. I'm not sure if you had any left. I think I have one left because I I just got one more level. So uh, mm -hmm. hopefully. Mm, I leveled up and restored mine. Uh, uh, I don't know how many so I had last time. You, so. I think you expended one. Oh, did I? Oh, yes, I did. And then, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, because I, yeah, I remember now. Mm -hmm. okay, I think I yeah. added a hit dice from the last time I leveled up, so I actually had. I now have two that's available. I am yeah. full health, people. I'm so happy. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. So, yeah. So yeah, I guess I'll use one of mine as well. Okay. And I'm one HP. Yeah. Then I'll see how high it gets me, and then I might use the other one. Kind of annoying, I can't make it so that uh, there's a darkness to the day. But, so, uh, are we doing how much time? Yeah, it's a short hours. rest. Because if we just do know. one short rest. I'll be at one HP, but if we do two, I can do a hit die. Oh. Um, no, because it's two hours, so it's one hour for you to wake up, and then the other hour is for a short rest. So you'll be on uh, one hit uh, die, and then you roll your die, and you might get a bit more. I'm at six HP, guys. Oh. You guys can have a long rest, because remember, these people have been there for a couple of days. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I basically turned to everyone and go, we need a long rest. But I think the people in the cave can last a little bit longer. We're not in fighting condition. And as you saw from experience, we have been letting people live who we should have killed. Letting point, people live, potentially not dying. We take all the gear of all the people in town and bury them beneath and we need to and we Turn also them, yeah. need to kind of to take care of the dead and everything lest they return to take their revenge yeah so i would say a long rest because we'll be working on burying um, people right. if we do a long rest does that mean we'll hit dice restore yeah yeah nice so, long rest? Uh, question is, where yeah. are we sleeping? Just in this house? Yep. Probably in the yeah, it's like Russian keeping. Probably someone keep an eye on the entrance, just in case. Well, so, what's up with this giant grey... Oh, just a replicate knight, I think. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty, pretty As the sweet. dark gets dim. There you go. Yay, I long rest! I had to do this last time. <laughs> So yeah, you, you can all recover, you can all rejuvenate. Um, is there anything that anybody wants to do over their long rest? Possibly uh, attune or understand some magical item they potentially um, have? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but you're wrong. I have these uh, leather gauntlets, right? Um, mm -hmm. I only have one they, hand. They, they are still effective with one hand. Can I put the other one over my stump and it's got like a really short arm? <laughs> I mean, it's a gauntlet, so it doesn't actually have any fingers to it. Oh yeah, so yeah, I can use that to apply pressure. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll slap the Mervoids on. I have no idea what they do. Uh, spend time. They do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, I'll be. Have, uh, the, uh, can I also do that to the hide armor? Although I yes. can't wear it because I'm not, a, I'm not a proficient in medium armor. But if any of you lads nope. or lasses would like to have a gander at this piece of clothing. Unfortunately, I am not proficient in uh, medium armor. A anyone? Uh, anyone? I'm proficient I've... in heavy armor. Uh, I am. I'll uh, take it. Would you like to have a look at this aid armor of fuzzy energy emitting? Yeah, sure. I'll have a look. Ooh. As this is happening, I am going to be sorting out the dead and asking where we can bury them or do like a mass burial. Uh, hmm. uh, my suggestion was to take all their gear off just so they're just no, yeah. no sorted contaminants. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Just bury them beneath where the farm was to them to the land and possibly <laughs> let whatever crop yield comes, even if it's unintended. Yeah. Because, you know, there's no one here. True. This place so, may have a chance to recover. Are you trying to convince them to bury the bodies of the people that attacked their town? Yeah. Because okay, they're going to use them. They're going to use their bodies to make food. Roll persuasion. Do, 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 do. They're not convinced. They, you, you get lots of distasteful, like, spits on the ground, and they're just like, we're not going to waste time burying these thugs. But you're going you're gonna to use it. You're going to get a bigger crop here because it's going to provide new. We don't have any farmers here at the moment. We barely survived the last time. So, how are you going to survive now? What have you got to trade for food? We're just gonna have to find a new place to settle for now. Or at least try and do what we can with what we've got now. But growing crops isn't the the worst of it at the moment. True. Do I need to do a quest a while before the next crop rotation? 14th century. That's how character my cat would say that. Just uh, has a small spot moment, so. <laughs> um, I guess there's a statement I just to obtain a bit of a uh, dagger juggling. Okay. Hmm. So I do a wall for that performance. Yes, please. Performance. This is why I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. No, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Um, like, poor kind of. Oh, not aroused. Uh, <laughs> they are relaxed as I uh, attained them and kind of brought joy to this currently un unsightly situation. Hmm. Um. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, done. It's gone. Anyone else? Nope, uh, that's... Yeah. Is there anybody else want to do something? That's me. Done. Yeah. Uh, no, what no about pain? Uh... Yeah. Uh, what you? Is there anything you do, worry? Is this during the long rest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. long rest. Uh, nah, I was gonna. Get plenty of rest. Uh, so you can wipe off your exhaustion once you finish your long run. Yeah. Um, I was currently looking for the arm that Daniel got. That was it. <laughs> uh, 
Where's the house key? No, where my Wazowski. Oh. Uh... I mean, that's not... Sure. Um... Alright, this is the armour that you have, Daniel. Post it fucking thing. Yep. Huh. What the hell? Okay, is that an so, actually item you can find within the uh what? The the app uh, can uh, no? No, it's not. Okay. Just There's a custom either. encounter, so it's a custom item. Thank you. So, there you go. Uh, yeah. You guys get to relax. The, the time as the sun begins to set. Um, going from midday to midnight by the time that you finish your long rest. Yep. Oh, actually, what's the AC on it? Doesn't tell me. Uh, it's just so whatever. Just got to hide. Mm -hmm. Do you normally have hide? I, I can't remember. No, I had leather. That's what it was. Okay, so it's one Wait. up from that. Oh, it's worse actually. Sure. Oh, really? Unless it caps your um, armor, uh, like dexterity modifier. If I have a vi hmm. Yeah, so it would be capping your um, dexterity modifier at plus two to it. Okay. So it's 12 plus two. Okay. If you have more than that. Have that on. Okay. You don't have to wear it. Yeah, I know. Hmm. It's just that you now. It does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on leather for now. Mm -hmm. At least for now. But yeah, I'll right. keep hold of that. So as, as the day turns to night, what do you guys do? There's like a... There's uh, the fireplace in in is being used as a way to keep you all warm as obviously all the like, windows and things have been damaged letting in a draft everybody's kind of huddled around in blankets and things uh, right. i turn into a cat so i am blanket. <laughs> very small cat with a very small blanket me uh A anyone uh i go over to berosa and so uh do uh, uh we it's midnight but we need to get to the cave and get the people if we can do that and get them back here and then make our way to Waterdeep. It should be fine. Is there anything in the surrounding area that we should know about that might be more precarious? Obviously being at night might put us at a disadvantage, but anything in darkness. Well, I mean, um, during the travel it might be a bit risky be traveling through the forest uh, to, to reach a location not not sure how well it would go I 
I personally haven't traveled through there, but I've heard some things. What kind of things? Like, uh, people go missing or just... Well, rumor has it there's, uh, there's orcs living nearby. Ah. Um, and a uh, uh, conflict has broken out between them and some wood elves that live in the forest. Okay. Okay, so that will add a complication to the event, so it might be prudent to wait until at least sunrise. Mm, I, I don't disagree. Um, I'm just worried about people. They've been there for a while now, and I'm not sure how many provisions they took. Oh. Well, hopefully I'll be able to forage from the nearby forest. Well, I, I put my faith in them. Uh, sounds of it. We might, uh, we might be lucky enough to get there without coming across trouble, or we might be extremely unlucky and come across the orcs or the wood elves and try and explain the situation which might blow up in our face. Well, I can try and communicate with the wood elves if worst comes to worst. True. Oh, nah, you a, uh... Oh, you are a fellow elf. I am. Um... I didn't want to assume. I find it difficult to sometimes tell the difference between high and wood elves. Um, bigger ears. <laughs> bigger nose. <laughs> yeah, I know what they say about elves with big ears. <laughs> More penis. Uh, but yeah, she's just like, well, I mean, it would certainly be certainly be Handy. Can I hear better? Um, I, I, I hope that we don't have to come into that conflict. Uh, it certainly wouldn't help. So, the likelihood is we've had dawn. So, mm -hmm. if we all rest up, everyone packs. Whatever they can get, we all make. We all travel to the cave, and then we make our way to Waterdeep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Lacey gives us a few minutes to prepare and to rest up. Yes, I think uh, from from the looks of your friends, you could certainly uh, with a bit more rest, but I don't know if that's really going to change much for them. Um, I also yes, please. such and such you stay near me when we go, because then I can shield her from any harm. She she nods. Uh, yes, I I couldn't really tell what was going on in your your fights, but um, it certainly seems that you're well protected when you need to be. Um, looks down at your arm. Or at least when you can be. Mm. Uh, and she at says, least, "Oh God." At least we have some of the bear. At least we have a rifle that uh, was dropped. So, you... Uh, you have the ghost cannon. The ghost rifle Can is the one that the woman took. Ghost cannon, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I still have a ghost cannon, so... And a railgun. Did anyone take my railgun? Because I can't so it. It's the same thing. It's the How same thing. Uh, uh, it's still outside, but we have that, so if anybody is good at handling guns, they can use it. Um, I mean, we, we don't really get much contact with the, uh, the advanced races. Um... As you can see, we're quite simple out here and don't really benefit from much technology. We we only really have contacts outside that use it. Um, I know it might seem a bit outdated, but to, 
we've heard some horror stories. Uh, people using the under areas ever since they've traveled here from wherever it was, the portal. Uh, we haven't really had much with them and their kind. I know they are what we are, but somehow from where they're from, they seem arrogant and malicious. She kind of like uh, looks off to the side and uh, like rubs her arm slightly. Well, it's there just in case. You never know. We might need it or we might or we could use it as a bargaining chip in case we do run into either the rocks or the elves. I agree. It it might be useful. Just don't go relying on it too much. I, I fear the worst. Taint don't people. worry. Don't worry, I won't. I'll we'll just bring it to line just in case. And uh, it could be useful as a bargaining tool. Yes. And there uh, she, she kind of rolls her eyes a little bit and begins to sit in a chair by the. <laughs> um, so, during this downtime, is there anybody that wants a flashback or a a scene to potentially get some inspiration? Uh, uh, it doesn't have someone alone, it can be between two people, uh, or it can be a flashback to an event that it's kind of on your mind at the moment, so we can reveal slightly more about the characters. Like, does anybody want to kind of have a flashback to how they got to this? Like, what what has transpired to this? Oh, curious. curious situation. Yes, Krath, I am curious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gander. <laughs> I'll, have a, I'll have a flashback. Okay. So explain the scene. Well, I was on the water in our settlement, walking with my peers, and specifically talking about due to the actions of those not in the ocean those that interact with the ocean and their own meat such as connected via using different watercraft and any kind of things they discard affects those that are submerged by my people mm -hmm. and over the years through people discarding stuff into the ocean or, you know, using it for whatever means. The landscape in our settlement changed to a point where we just couldn't remain and we had to get them move. Enticed by the actions of those utilizing the water for their own means. I decided to venture upon the land. See what kind of lives they lived and to what extent that it uh, it affected ours, what actions they specifically take that are uh, you know alters the lives of others and do they care or are they even are aware of the the consequences of Others based on their action, you know. Yeah. Grew up in a community based environment. Your actions affecting others is something Kraft is very aware of. And he's kind of familiar with this new land based civilization and 
see how it compares and see how it affects the around it. Okay. I like it. Yeah. So, with people being slightly unaware of uh, the various new races that exist in this world, like, even from an event that caused such a dramas uh, drastic change to the Earth, uh, people from the past brought back their current um, technology that still less um, economic uh, not, sorry, not economic what is it, uh, less globally friendly uh, machines such as oil pumps and things like that and causing ecosystems to once again damaged from the events um, and it's not Unsurprising that such a thing would would cause communities that live in these um, in these areas, as they do now, um, and even with technology, and wisdom as the uh, the war that caused it all to end um, shows that conflict happens regardless, and so we kind of pan back out from the scene uh, from Krath's memory <laughs> and uh, awaken to a kind of like a, a morning uh, mm. vibrations <laughs> that's our wake up alarm <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you also hear the um, the shouting of uh, like some unknown language to you guys. Oh, directly? Not Legend. directly, just kind of like um, the sound of like. Wait, wait, did anyone check the gate? The gate. Look at okay. each other. Now. Just like oh. Whoopsie. Uh, I guess I open the door and have a look. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't see anything, but you can uh, hear the sound still. It's kind of uh, like a stomping and shouting. Uh, which direction is it? Do I do perception? Sure. Uh, with your eight, you do not know the direction. It seems like it's just being blown in on the wind. Hmm. I guess I continue walking around. Yep. Actually, I know. Uh, uh, I materialize my um, uh, vessel. Mm -hmm. And I would like to use... Uh, abyssal heart as an action okay. I can see through my vessel's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of my next turn during this sure. time you are deaf and blind in regards to your own senses so uh, also I destroyed the the um, uh, vessel I don't have it yeah. anymore yeah you, you summoned it back and I can't uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have it on the map. Oh. I got with a little orb. Uh, are you able to add it to my documents I'm able to... Um, I currently only have it as an image, but I can make it nice into thing. a character. Oh. Yeah. It'd be nice to just be able to put it onto the map. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Bye. Like make a little thing for it, then. Cheers. Um, yeah, it doesn't need any sats to it. It just needs. No, no. Nice no, one. I, I want it to end up in Daniel's journal and controlled by Daniel. Cheers. It's right. Uh, Where is it on the map? There it is. Yeah, I can't collect, select it right now. 
Use the token. Doesn't need an avatar or anything. There you go. You're a Daniel, you're clicking a lot. Uh oh, wait a minute. Just drag and drop it onto the map, you don't need to click or anything. Oh, okay. Drag. I see you made it. Oh cool. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought, I, thought, I, thought, no, I thought I could click on the one you had down here. Oh, yeah, I, could, I didn't. I just, yeah, that was just to make it. Time. Yeah, that's just to make it. Okay, cheers. Uh, yeah, so I channel into it, and I guess I fire it forward at the same time as... Wait. Yeah, I can fire it forward, and then I can use Abyssal Heart. So I mm -hmm. shoot it forward, and Abyssal Heart... And I see around its area, what can I see okay. with its many strange eyes? What, just shooting it that way? Uh, yeah, I shot it over to here, and I just want to have a general perception check on this area. You can see yourself, and you can see all the corpses, and you can see the buildings, and you can see stuff. Hmm. Uh, what about this way? Any particular... No, nothing down there. Hmm. The sound of marching and grunting still on the wind. Getting closer. Hmm. Ah, uh, I understand the situation, and I'll quickly run over to here. Is that okay? okay. Yeah. Uh, and I try to pull up the drawbridge. Sure. Uh, so, there is a lever on one side. Okay, yeah. Uh, which side? Uh, on yeah. just uh, that side that you're currently okay. on. Yeah, I pull it. Okay, um, so you... Oh, wait, no, it actually has to have one on both sides, doesn't it? Oh, no. Uh, so, you're currently pulling it, and you feel it, but it's heavy. You will need to make a strength check to see if you can pull up a bit. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't mm. budge. It's too heavy. The shouting and uh, stomping getting closer. We come out okay. and... Wait, you get that one. Okay. Uh, do it again. Mm -hmm. Make a strength, uh, strength roll, not saving throw. Oops. Uh, and um, have advantage on whoever has the more strength. No. Well, let's do it again. You don't have uh, I got any uh, strength here. I got bad strength. A twenty. Uh, you guys pull, and one side kind of falls, but then the other manages to pull it up, and <laughs> and uh, you pull it into place as the uh, drawbridge shuts. Hmm. Don't worry, James, we'll get it one day. <laughs> uh, generally leave it and. Uh, it's our. Hmm. I'll just make it. I guess. Quick. I guess I'm gonna head over here. I'm mm -hmm. here just to confirm my suspicions. Wait, that mm -hmm. does go up. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're, they're like. Um, towers. Uh, general oh, perception one. on this area. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything on that area. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder what is it? Where is that coming from? Uh, I guess I just want to survey each direction. Mm-hmm. As you do, you see a small horde approaching. Oh, where from? Uh, up. No, up there. So, north. I see. How far away? Uh, let me put them on the map for you. If I can. They are over... 
Here. <laughs> Anyone got any evocation spells? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, what are they? Uh, you don't know. Okay. Do they look like they could throw stones? Like giant boulders? <laughs> no, they do not look big enough to throw giant boulders. Hmm, okay. That's a relief. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, I know the giants threw them, but you know. They dropped them. Yeah, they just went, yeet. I <laughs> didn't yeet them, they just didn't kick need them to off. hold them anymore. Yeah, just kick them, do good let like, gravity do their part. Uh, From a giant floating castle. They never know. I want to know what they have. Uh, okay, there's a horde of probably orcs approaching. Uh, the drawbridge is up. Irish man. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it on into you. Drawbridge is up. We could just play dead. Is uh, no one's home? We could. We could play so, dead. They go by the rule of double tap, though. <laughs> Played. Depending on the orc, then most likely. <laughs> Uh, is uh, we went to check to see if uh, oh, there's yeah. a. <laughs> oh, we have to see if there's a way out of here apart from the main gate. There might be. Ah, maybe she knows what her name is. I can't remember her name. Which it's... one? Keela. No, the the other Barossa. one. Barossa. Barossa, that was it. Yeah. No, the other Barossa. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's go ask her. Or we could uh, yeah, gallop away on horses. Quick. <laughs> what, with the drawbridge down? Or up, I mean. Oh, put the drawbridge back down. <laughs> God damn it, why did you make me do this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite yet. As you guys are discussing. <laughs> Uh, languages. Uh, I don't have access to theirs, I'm fairly certain of that. Unless I'm That's mistaken. Daniel realizes he doesn't have a chosen one. <laughs> so yeah, has, has anybody got any languages that they would like to spring up? Common primordial. I do have a little comprehend language. I mean, if I fight into a telepathic communication with one of them, I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> That's always handy. I got abyssal, common, and infernal. Okay. A lot of you have like quite exotic languages. Oh, I'm wondering common, what you got. Elvish, draconic, and sylvan. Yeah. Okay. So none of you can understand what they're shouting. Yes, I don't care. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so once again, they <laughs> just play dead. I just head go. in and uh, go straight to Nadia and go, okay. I don't think play dead would be a good idea. Do we have another way out, apart from the drawbridge? Is there a boat? Is there an underground tunnel? N no, I mean, this was supposed to be a fortress, it's supposed to be safe, but... Uh, I mean, it's always a secret entrance, right? I mean, if you have a boat, we, we could use it to sail down the river, but... You don't have there a boat? Are, okay. One, uh, one of you lads were on a boat. Around here, we just stumbled upon you in a boat. Well, we came up in horses. Yes, uh, that was me, but I'm out of distance, so I have no idea. You also that. don't have your boat. <laughs> yeah, that, that's gone. Yeah, gone. Excuse me, if you fell out there. We're just gonna grab that boat so we can escape from you. <laughs> 
quick. <laughs> Don't mind us. So yeah, as just, you guys are talking, you just put here. <laughs> kind of like um, the sound of metal against wood. Okay. Well, at least we're gonna exactly made it. Get the advantage and do it while they try to break in. Okay, so we have another problem. We there's a likelihood a whole bunch of orcs outside who are trying to get in, and none of us understand orc. Do anybody here understand orc so we can use them to negotiate? Or well, you know, I can. Uh, I don't know. Let, let, let me just look at my telepathy show real quick. No, I think I know what to do. Um. Uh, with me. Uh, let's go back to the castle bit. Okay. okay. You you hear scraping uh, metal against the wood. I can actually try to scale down. Ah. ah. We could get rid Over, of the makeshift bridge door. <laughs> yeah. There's too for, big a drop for them to survive that side. Uh. Yeah. For my perception, what are they actually doing? Are they just trying to destroy the support so they can walk across it? Or are they actually trying to destroy the bridge? Because if um, they destroy the bridge, then it's not really a problem. You you get to watch from your angle as you see the drawbridge being moved forcefully mm. by oh. what appears to be hooks. Okay, I see. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, why don't we just okay. go in there? Put Everyone, fire in front of it. So we're going to the castle on. quickly. I think the castle's a good idea. So, yeah. Hmm. We have a high ground. Mm -hmm. well, I Everyone's think we should, just, you know, set a fire. Like, yeah. Uh, so game. all the characters from there are also moving with us, right? Before I do, uh, firebolt. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and um, you kind of get the group moving as mm. it's kind of convincing to not be where these things are going to be. Mm. Uh, also, my familiar is out. Oh, oh. My uh, vassal is out of range, and so he spawns. Um. And suddenly you hear. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the bridge is okay. Dropping. I'm gonna assist uh, in collecting the temporary bridge. Yeah, it's I need to destroy this bridge. Or oh, at least move it the... with us up here. So yeah, go there. Bring it across. Oh. The planks. Yeah, take the planks in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what should we roll for that then? Um, probably not stealth. I think you can just do it as part of your like actions. Okay. Okay. Just start moving it in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're essentially moving. Yeah, at a slower speed. And these guys are rushing in, shouting and stomp. Uh, probably. We take a bit, and then I'm going to destroy it with the demon ball. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna, as I said, play dead and hope that they don't think anyone's even up here. Okay. So, I think we've got a few. Just to confirm, did we get a few planks? At uh, least a bit of resources. Because it's quite clear we're not going to be able to get the whole thing before they notice us and know we're here. Wait, what? Get the whole panel that you put on? Yeah, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm destroying it with the demon ball. I thought you guys were dragging it on. Yeah, They'd already dragged it on. Oh, we're... it's already yeah. dragged. Okay, yeah. I was wondering if it's taking too to long. Listen to each other, guys. Oh, I thought I was. It was just the general <laughs> way it sounded. They dragged it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course, it was from the windmill. Yeah. So Not like house plants. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you, you drag, drag it up and you put it away, and everybody begins to return back to where they had escaped from. Mm. Um. And pretend we're. Yeah, Not Kayla him. kind of uh, following behind. Mm. And, uh, yeah, you you hear them, like, kind of in the distance, like, slapping uh, things down. As a... Uh, mm. Even though you guys can't see at the moment, they are piling the bodies by the by the gate. 
out. Mm. Dragging them from the areas. Piling them up. Eh. 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 <laughs> cool. Right. And yeah. You you hear them as they grunt and talk to one another in a language that you can't understand. Hmm. Uh, and they are there for what feels like possibly I don't know half an hour oh. before you before you hear the sound of combat kind of going on. Well enough. Okay. You hear like the whistling of arrows in the air and uh, the sound of horseback. Glad we're not down there. Yeah. Sarah. Hmm. Is there like a table in here that I can sit at? Maybe find a kitchen I can scrounge some food up for some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the same building that you guys uh, got to the last time and uh, essentially. There's the room that uh, you found. Um, what's her name in? Uh, Lady, what's her face? <laughs> yeah. And her uh, two guards. They have four guards. Yeah, uh, Nadar. Uh, Ver uh, Velrosa, sorry. Um, Lady Velrosa, she's kind of gone back to sitting in the area. Yeah, I think James has probably got the right idea. Yeah. So, uh, I am. I'm going to investigate the rest of the tower. Might as well during the time that we have, and okay. look out. So yeah, I'm just going to go and investigate. What do I find? You find. Uh, whereabouts are you looking? Uh, I, oh, yeah, uh, hold on, uh, I'm going to check out the second floor. Okay. Um, you find an interior, uh, the interior of a wooden chest is divided into small compartments, so you find, like, this wooden chest that's divided into small compartments. Uh, and through searching, you find a velvet sack containing 180 silver pieces. Okay. Nice. Silk pouch containing uh, four gemstones and some silver uh, and a silver jewelry box containing three gold necklaces. Okay, so 180 silver pieces. A... Uh, can you roll initiative? Oh, fuck. Uh, just her or all of us? Just her. Just me. And certainly one floor below. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't hurt. Hold on. I made a roll. See, I, was, I finally find out why I have telepathy as a language. I do have telepathy, but only with things that can swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what happens, man. It just it just happens that way sometimes. <laughs> I have the uh, power of telepathy. My telepathy only with languages I know, so even if I try talking to those orcs, I'll probably only be able to speak common to them. Okay, so... Oh, a sword. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Wait, does it say its name? No. It, its image is a sword. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as you're hunched over looking through this chest, it hits you with a crit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, let's roll on that 1d100. I'm going to die. That's why you always store your sword in a proper, like, holster and don't have it just, like, leaning against the cupboard in case it might fall on you. See, this is just... The it's warping so you're dead. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, 
No, that's a head gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it just gets the extra damage. So you take um, uh, 14. Uh, oh, wait. So it's rolling twice and it gets doubled. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't get doubled. So, yeah, you only take nine damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, ow. Okay. Yeah, you get stabbed by a sword. Ow. Uh, I... I see the stab marker go off. Oh, the fuck. Mm. What do you do, then, at the response of being stabbed by a sword hovering next to you? Uh, as my, you know, just regular action, I yell, NEED SOME HELP UP HERE! And then uh, I am going to... It's not per... It's a uh, imminent object, so I am going to do... Uh... Magic missile, magic missile at level two. Okay. Uh, from the uh, shout of help, I approach the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. Shall I roll I... initiative there? Uh, yes. Yeah. So. That's better. That's very. That's. Uh, yes, that's one, two, three, and one more is four. So that's three, two, five, ten, twelve damage. Okay. You watch as it gets uh, dented a little bit by uh, by your pummeling of force. <laughs> uh, and before they can reach upstairs, it gets to make another attack. 12. Shield. Reaction shield. 15. Okay. So, God, going all out against a, a single sword floating in a room. Yeah. Uh, just have to go all out just this once. <laughs> <laughs> With that, it's now uh, Carrie's turn and then Fainor's. Oh, was it? Mm. Okay. I know uh, the order seems to be at word first because you guys have now finished running up the stairs. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, then. Uh, going to... Actually, where was the sword in comparison to... Uh, so the... She is in that room. Ah. And the sword is currently in front of her. Ah, okay. Then... Yeah, I assume the door's open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I go in there. Oh. Oh no! What on earth? Take out the cut. Every time. Uh, yeah, I materialize my vassal uh, and use crash. Okay. Uh, so. I, yeah, so it's changed roll. now, so now it's a attack roll. Uh, on the sheet, I put it as charisma modifier as well. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Yep. Yeah. Um, so, plus three. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. And then distance. So now at level three is 30 feet. Yeah, but remember, we're not doing it by distance now, are we? With the uh, wait, wasn't that what I said last time? What? Didn't I say that last time? And then you said, "Oh, but I like that." No, I said it. It doesn't. It you can't. Do I, I thought I was pulling it back. That we said that. No, pulling it back where it would change up. It would be based on um how far it went on the way back. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. So, because it requires an attack roll, mm -hmm. you can't yeah. really do the distance thing. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really function that well. Hmm. So, instead we're doing flat damage instead, right? Yeah, so just 1d6. So, 1d6. Yeah, sure. Two. 
for the... Uh, plus, plus the charisma modifier yeah, still. Five, yeah. Mm-hmm. And five, five damage then. Alright, so... You kind of send a crack through this sword. So it uh, bends and warps slightly, but it's still alive. Hmm. Uh, Fainor, what are you going to do? Um... I will do a uh, chill touch. Wait, but you, so you guys? What? Hmm? You're you're fighting a sword, right? Yeah. And you're going to do necrotic damage against a sword? Yeah? Yeah? Raise his eyebrow. Wouldn't it be resistant to necrotic damage because it doesn't have any biological... Well, damage? you'd think. I guess if it has a leather hill, it's technically living tissue. Well, it's it's natural used to be living tissue. It's just nope. <laughs> It has much stranger damage resistances and immunities, but we won't get into that. Uh, right. So you miss with your chill touch. Your 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 wispy dead fingers do not grasp at its soul. If it's my turn. Uh, and then, um, technically, Lucius, you get a turn, weirdly enough. So I'll, I'll try and put it in the order that it kind of technically is in. Ali? Yeah. Ali? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello? What's happened? Hello? Why are you Where? so quiet? Yeah. Are you fallen down a well? No. <laughs> oh boy, what happened? I don't know, your voice is really quiet. I haven't even done anything. Hmm. I think your computer settings might have. Yeah. Might be. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's back. Okay. Do you have a volume on your headset or something? That... don't know, but it's up now. It was all the way up, so I don't know what happened, but at least You, you did of... something because you went from quiet to loud, so you must have done something. Well, it's fixed now. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not even yeah. going to bother. I d- I'm, I'm, I've just given up on you, Ali. It's fine. Uh, right, so do whatever you need to do. I'm going to do magic missile at level one. Okay. I love the fact that. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, ten damage. Mm-hmm. So it takes ten damage. Once again, it's dented, and you've kind of broken parts of it off, making it a horrible, jagged blade. Yay. And it is now going to attack you once more. Critting you once more. Fuck's sake. It really didn't like you taking that shit. It's just like, you dare to touch that stuff. I was just looking. I wasn't even doing anything. My looking by putting stuff in your pocket when you took that silver. True, I only took the silver, which is the reason why I got my hand chopped off. I'm looking by taking it away, but that is just looking in my eyes. <laughs> so you take the uh, five damage. I really don't like this. I keep rolling so... Just Well, yeah. I'm unconscious. Okay. You drop unconscious? Yep. Right after we had a long rest, we mm-hmm. still had 
Uh, what is this to happen? It's weird. If it turned off, it could just technically drop on you without counting as an attack. I wonder if this <laughs> movement technically counts as an attack. It's just... Anyway, uh, Carrie, well, what are you doing? Wait and see. Um, as your friend drops with a stab to the, the chest. I'm gonna go upstairs and find everyone dead and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck happened? Going to... These are the worst crits. I thought I was gonna get something cool. <laughs> I'm glad that you have them, Venus. Uh, I would have died. <laughs> Vassal is going to make a tendril attack. Um. There's mm -hmm. so a melee attack. We have charisma modifier. Uh -huh. oh. Damn, boy. Ah. Uh. Yep. So it deals 1d6. Well, probably. Mm -hmm. And then double the damage. And double damage. Yep. Oh, wait. No, 1d100 because you crit. Oh, yeah. That too. Uh, Oh wait, no oh, shit. Gosh. Oh, the wait, was that wait, did that legitimately happen? Wait a minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got a hundred. <laughs> I thought I'd rolled it incorrectly and it just rolled. This is the first time we're seeing the truest of crits. Let's see it. Let's see the masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> What's what that? is this? Was... So it oh. had to make a DC con save mm -hmm. of 18 or okay. it dies. It just dies. Oh, it doesn't get any save. That works. But it's you have right. got to okay. be shitting me, man. Does it still die from the damage? I do. <laughs> it does. Uh, it, yeah, it rolls the uh, the damage. I, I accidentally have been counting yeah. mine as doubling the, uh, the mm. total amount because it doesn't show mm. the calculation. But. What is, was that? What was that? Was that? that was, that was that a masterpiece. Is to 100, that effect? Or is it? Huh? Is James that exclusive to 100, that effect? Well, like, that that 100 is literally the final strike. It has to make a DC con save or die. Yeah, but no other number in that. No. No. It's just 100. It's flat 100. 100 as that. And only 100. Oh, wow. And but it's lit. still knocked it prone. Mm. Uh, and it's moved 1d4 squares back, so it could just be going out the window. So roll 1d4 for me. Oh, oh. come on, roll it out that window. Nope. So it moves uh... one one square back, which is 10 feet, so it still goes out the window, but it flies, so oh. whatever. <laughs> but it's stunned for three rounds, so it oh. falls out the window, and quadruple damage. So <laughs> two times four... Makes it eight plus Wait. three. Wait, so one hundred also has multiple other effects stacked on top. Not yeah, only. yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. If they even survive the thing, they still get all of this. Holy <laughs> shit! Okay, guys, we have to get a hundred each time if we can. Yeah, it's it's only two, James. Unfortunately, so yeah, it's six plus three. Not the not the killing blow, but it it definitely is the killing blow for this thing. So it just. Shattered and it's flying out the window. Yeah, you break it into tons and tons of shards. Nice. There you go. You've defeated the weirdest <laughs> encounter with such a underwhelming, <laughs> underwhelming crit. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that it crit the the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would have been. Oh. Awesome. oh well, still killed it. Yeah, I know. I'm just so sad because that uh, was the yeah. first time we're seeing this. Oh, I go to stabilize um, Lucius. Okay. Medicine check, I presume. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, tr 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 and... Do we still get to keep the stuff? I will. Oh, no. Ah. No. Doesn't fail. Not critical, so it yeah, just it fails. Work. So she uh, she does not stabilize. 
Okay, and uh, she gets one death save fail. Yeah. Uh, well, she'll have to roll for whether uh, he passes. Oh. Oh, right, oh uh, what? So her next turn, she'll roll, and then I get another shot. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I go on so the alley. Yeah. Is it going to be a crit one? Is it going to be a one? Oh, I hope it's not one. I hope it's a one. <laughs> uh, but oh. she hasn't got a death save fail, though, has she? Well, uh, she, we haven't no, found no, out she, yet. Yeah, yeah, I know she, yeah. Come uh, on. Yep, hold on. I'm just quickly putting everything in so that here we go. And let's roll that. Line. Ali, we can see if you're actually typing or not. Yeah, and a roll. Oh, nope. It's all one. It's an eight. Nope, so that's a fail. Yep. That's one fail. Okay, Daniel. Yeah, medicine check again. Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> fail. <laughs> Ali. Yep. How loud are you guys being? Seven. Uh, that's it's another fail. Gone, but are you fail. fucking serious? I am going I don't to have die. A... I don't have you a way to... normally, but this is... This it's is just... going to happen, Jess. She's going to die. This is my... Am I seeing this? Okay. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll just... Well, so, yeah, I'll so just... I do stabilize. But for the sake of... Seeing how bad right, our luck on. is. Yeah, come on. Okay, all in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I got a potion healing. All in or nothing. Uh, it's a fail. Come on, Ali. Oh, Ali. Death die. Day. Come on. <laughs> no, I died. We have shit yeah. luck. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not actually. Are we serious? What yeah, I died. <laughs> we're not serious, are we? I am yeah. serious, I just died. Mm -hmm. So all you got out of that was a fucking a corpse. But you stabilized automatically when you had Confused. Probably, probably not really, are we? And no, oh. I died. No, but we sta you stabilized automatically out of combat. If you go to Who would have known? Oh no, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> What, James? I presume what James is saying is correct. So you stabilize automatically. Yeah, come. That's what I normally do, but it's not I mean, necessarily that's what, that's true. I'm going to do it, and I don't know true. what happens. Dan said he's going to go all out or whatever. This is uh, this is this is chest compressions. He was like literally trying to. Yeah, that, bring that's him back. why I used the potion. That was yeah. kind of a joke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If 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 yeah. I was going to have done it in turn order i would have kept the turn order up yeah yeah mm. though i do still want her dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know so you stabilize normally do not yeah. waste a health potion on That's someone right. who got themselves killed yeah yeah you got a dead sword <laughs> and uh what do you guys do because they heard this clattering coming from upstairs and Watches like bits of sword fall out a window. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like... isn't dead again. <laughs> what the fuck happened here? <laughs> All that for so... a couple of bits of silver. Oh, we yeah, didn't yeah. Exactly. We stabilized her. Yeah, don't worry. Hmm. Just like uh, gave her a lot of chest compressions, and she almost like. Mm -hmm. Bit of dust. Yep. <laughs> sure, you did. By the way, how long uh, are we going on for? Uh, I, I was going to end it here on yeah. the uh, the death of an ally so that Ali can bring her character as a different character next time. Oh. Um. <laughs> but only if she wants to. Bring them with or claim them. Well, well, okay, so the best sort of ending is uh, Rory trying to, like, uh, you know, rush over and help, and the scene fades as uh, 
Daniel continues, uh, sorry, uh, Carrie failed. continues to do c c chest compressions. <laughs> Why isn't it healing the wound? The stab wound? <laughs> I love how last session at the end we sought out to prepare to go rescue the villagers and like find more investigation regarding whatever the fuck. <laughs> the progress we made this session is that we lost a few limbs. I think we lost Nearly progress. died a couple of times. <laughs> we proved that we are worth our heroes. We and now we're back to into a keep. Because <laughs> shit is going on and we just don't have control of anything anymore. We're just hiding. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're ending on a scene of a potential character death. Yeah. So there you go. You kind of like <laughs> fade out the window time once more. On fucking Ampu teams. Ampu <laughs> teams. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Uh, I hope uh... everybody's enjoyed watching this train wreck and <laughs> <laughs> absolute. <laughs> Wad squad fuck of very uh, tired. Uh, just have medicine checks. <laughs> <laughs> Even the person that fucked us all up, like, fucked up their first move by trying to shoot us and losing their trigger finger. Yeah, you can go to bed, James. Falling prone, Thanks, being mix. stunned, and they still <laughs> destroy us. You know why that happened, though, right? It's because I purposely went easy on you to try and not instantly kill you at the beginning of the fucking session. <laughs> Like, I could have just gorse rifled you and it probably would have given me a crit and you would have vaporized and had to sit out the entire fucking session. <laughs> Instead though, it's like, oh okay, I'll be nice. I'll give him I'll give him a chance and just do a pistol, you know, which is, you know, one D six plus, you know, some benefits. <laughs> Instead no, breaks finger, fucking throws it off and Collapses to the floor. She's lying on the ground. Mm -hmm. I had one job to finish her off, so I got up to her to point over a spear and I fucking miss. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> can't even hit. I can't <laughs> Thank you guys for thing. watching. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow when we do some uh, Persona 4. Mm. Persona 4. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, hopefully you guys can come and join us for that, where it won't hopefully seem like we're incompetent and don't know what's going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, hopefully have some fun and some laughs. And yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. Here we are. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. I know, we're never live. What a well, twist. <laughs>